to everybody, to Diamond Geezers too. My name's Mike. It's been a tumultuous uh, evening after yesterday's loss of the FC United fixture, but I'm delighted to be able to tell all of you that I've replayed the game and we won a second time. I'll wait until there's more people in the chat before we go ahead and show the highlights, but um, the key takeaway here is yesterday the game completely crashed after the FC United game, which we originally won 3-0. So I've replayed it, and as you can see, we won the second game 2-1, so we still got the victory that we deserved. But this time, bonkers Barry Hales, the Hailstorm, led us to a 2-1 victory with two stunning goals, which I'll show you shortly. We'll wait for a few people to get online, get in the chat. Started a tiny bit early today, just to get everybody viewing, to get everybody interested. Um, the, today's going to be a good episode, I think, as long as the game doesn't crash again. The game shouldn't crash this time because I've changed uh, my, uh, uh, my, my, my Steam to be offline. Um, oh, excellent, excellent news. Chris Hudson on Twitter. Excellent news. His AFC Rushton shirts have both arrived. Two Rushton shirts in the sale. Chris Hudson, you absolute legend. Look at that. Brilliant. Nice work. Uh, RVX, welcome. Yes, you can see the good news. Good afternoon. Good to see you, mate. You can see the good news already. I replayed the game that we lost yesterday, and bonkers Baz scored both goals. We also let one in this time, but it was a, it was an overwhelmingly good uh, good performance. It was pretty much the same performance as the 3-0 yesterday. It's just that because we kept missing the target, um, the, the player ratings weren't as good. Um, honestly, Omar Kroma missed a, a hatful of chances. Oh, hey, welcome, everybody. Fire him, Luke. Bemos, no, Bemos, don't worry about missing the streams. No problem, mate. It's all good. Um, I don't know if you've caught up on, on where we got to. I've, I, I put a couple of short catch-up videos on YouTube on the highlights so that... Because uh, it hard, it's hard to stay... It's hard for everybody to be available all the time. I realise that. Um, I'm, you know, as good as unemployed. So uh, I've got all the time in the world to do these streams. But I realise everybody else is working from home. So occasionally people aren't going to be able to make it. I've done the little catch-up videos. You'll, you'll probably, if you haven't seen it, we started really well yesterday. Actually, we drew. Um, oh, you are caught up. That's good. Yeah. So we, we basically drew our first game and then we won all of our remainders. But then we lost the FC United game because uh, Steam, both Steam and Football Manager both crashed. And I, I'm not sure which one was the culprit. Um, Max Power, afternoon. Chris, Chris Donahue, welcome. Plumpy, ah, oh, welcome, Plumpy Chunks. Welcome everybody. Max, I saw your. Um, the two shirt, your two AFC Rushton uh, shirts arrived. That is brilliant news. They look fantastic. I'm really glad that they got to you. Um, and good, well done for tagging around for me. Everybody else, if you fancy an AFC Rushton shirt, if you scroll down on Twitch and you'll see all my little buttons that I've made. One of them links straight over to the AFC Rushton club shop. Um, get your stuff. Bill Hupler, Twerno, welcome. Cheers, guys. Thanks for thanks for tuning back in. Um, you can see from the, the the game screen, which is over here. Um, for me, it's over here, but for, on the camera, it's over here. It's really confusing. I replayed the FC United game, and we got the win that we deserved. Um, I'll show the uh, I'll show the goals when when you know in uh, probably at at two o'clock at my time exactly. So in about three minutes, give everybody else a chance to get online. Um, but uh, yeah, then I'll show you the goals. Barry Hales, just an absolute phenomenon up front. He's a fi he's only five foot nine, you know. Barry Hales is a five foot nine target man. I had no idea. Look at him, five foot nine. I really had no idea, but one of his goals was pure target man. It was phenomenal. And you know what? I'll just play them now, and then we'll just show them again in a bit for anybody that arrives a little bit. Uh, I was going to say late, but actually, for anybody that arrives on time, we'll just show them afterwards. So this is these are the goals from from Bonkers Baz. I started with exactly the same team, exactly the same tactics. I didn't change anything. I I just reloaded the game and just hit go basically. So not, everything was exactly the same, and this was the result this time. It was a bit disappointing that they scored, to be honest. Um, because, again, they totally didn't deserve it. As you can see over here, they only had the one shot on target and it went in. Um, so, it's just, just classic FM that we, con that we conceded at all. But we completely dominated them. There's Baz's first. What a finish. Karoma gave them hell all afternoon. Actually, Omar got a 7.8, but he missed a hat-trick of really clear chances one was a, a head a completely free header that he put over the bar that I could not believe there's Hales's second goal look at that five foot nine Barry Hales what a leap to head home that second goal absolutely fantastic so yeah we we played again it was it was another really good game Hero played really well 
Karoma, but Karoma was fantastic, but he really should have had a hat trick. You can see from us, I mean, we had 13 shots on goal, six off target. That, I mean, they scored a good goal, to be fair, but it was their only chance in the whole game. Um, but yeah, the, the two clear cut chances, neither of them were Barry Hales' goals. We had two other clear cut chances. The six that we put off target, honestly, that I couldn't believe it. Byron Bubb missed a couple of really clear chances as well. Uh, we we should have beaten FC United at least five or six nil, but uh, we'll take two one. You know we got we got the win. We got our win back. Um, Tim, welcome. Yeah, Tim, I'm feeling I'm feeling much much better today. Yesterday was yesterday was tough between this and Los Colineros. Every it was yesterday was a bit rough, but yeah, no, we're all good. Everything's fine. Uh, RVX, no, we do still have the American coming in. Um, Birchie, the upshot of the crash was that we only lost one result because the game crashed immediately after the FC United uh, game, the original one. We'd won it 3-0 and it was probably our best ever performance ever since we started the stream. It was easily the best game that our players have ever all played together and we immediately lost it. But because my game, I've got it auto-saving every week, which is why all of you have to watch a little bit of like extended processing. Um, but the upside of it auto-saving every week is that I, even if it crashes, we're only ever going to lose probably one result. Um, so in terms of that, no, the American is still coming. Don't worry about him. Vincenzo Bernardo and I've put his picture in now so everybody can just revel in this photo of this absolute dream boat that we've got coming in uh, on the 1st of uh... oh actually it's the 8th of September he's coming in in less than a month now wow I felt like his transfer was quite far in the future but actually it's the 8th of September 2012 and he's going to be here on October the 1st so just maybe four weeks until Vincenzo graces us oh, a midfield of Vincenzo Bernardo hang on just keep that Keep that uh, face in your mind as if you could as if you could forget it. The time when we have this face playing in our central midfield alongside this one. Oh, my God. We're just going to dazzle other teams with blue steel. You know, it's it, no one's going to they're not going to even see us coming. They're going to go out onto the pitch. They're going to do their warm ups. The other teams they are going to do the they do the coin toss. They're going to glance over. They're going to see Vincenzo. And Steve Jags in centre mid, and everybody's just going to fall to the ground. We're going to win every game, six or seven nil, I would say. Oh, Luke, thank you for hosting my stream. Good man, very good of you. Um, yeah, some exactly some beautiful transfer business while I've been away. The other thing about um, old uh, Vincenzo is that I mean he's he's Italian American, so you've got to believe that he's going to bring a little bit of that mafia money in with him. I mean, I, I would I'm not going to ask him, but if if some money some envelopes full of money just end up on my desk. I'm just not going to say a word. Um, so yeah, he's got, he's, he's an absolute dreamboat, isn't he? God, he's just such a dish. Really looking forward to having him here. Destroying Angel, welcome. NJ, good morning from New Jersey. Thank you uh, for joining us again. So, um, so yeah, as you can see, those of you that just got here, we replayed the FC United game or I, I replayed it last night. We won again. It was a similar performance. It's just that we didn't get as many shots on target. We missed some guilt edge chances. I'll quickly just show you these. Uh, Barry Hales scored both of our goals. We'll skip forward. But two goals from Barry Hales on his debut, no less. Remember last time he scored one. This is the first one. Classic finish from Bonkers Baz. And then the second one. I really thought Barry Hales was like a strapping six footer. Considering when he was at Fulham, he felt like he was just a big, you know, big, tall, stocky guy. Um, but apparently not. Oh, no, that's the wrong that's the wrong highlight altogether. But, I mean, I knew that he was a target man, but I felt like he was a big, stocky bloke. But he's actually only five foot nine, is big bonkers, Baz. Five foot nine, if you can believe that. Um, but just watch this second goal that he scores. I've kind of fudged the highlights a little bit, but we are, we are going to get there in just a second. Just, just watch this target man play. Look, the, the centre-back that's marking him there, Jacobs, is clearly taller than him. And yet nothing can, nothing can stop the leap of the hailstorm. Look at that leap. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. FC United scored a good goal as well. Whatever, we don't need to worry about them. The upshot is that we did win the second game against FC United, so all is well. The only difference really in the league is that last time Worksop were in second, and this was going to be a first against second game, but Worksop got a different result on the second playthrough. So works up are actually down in fifth. But either way, I mean, we're still very tight at the top of the table. Um, exactly, up like a salmon. And we're ready for the works up game. I don't remember if I've uh, done anything to my team in advance of this one. Oh yeah, I did do one small thing. So last night while I was um, fiddling around after the FC United game, 
but before I saved it and switched it off. So the stud is back from injury, but he's only at 76%. So we'll leave him out today. That's no problem. The hailstorm can continue up front. I realised last night something that I hadn't noticed, which is Mohamed Ajnani, our new flying left winger, isn't a left winger at all. He is a right-footed left winger. He is an inside forward who's got 13 for dribbling. So I've been trying, the reason that he hasn't really set the world alight since we signed him is that I've been telling him to get down the line and really he should be cutting in as an inside forward. So I've made the bold tactical decision that we're going to go inside forward attack for Ajnani on the left and I've decided that the Panzer is going to give it both barrels down the left, uh, left back and I've set him to attacking. Now you'll all know that I've got all of my defenders on defend, nothing more adventurous than defend, because we had so much trouble last season at the beginning of, uh, of the whole adventure uh, with our full fullbacks getting overloaded. But I feel like now with Ajnani cutting inside as an inside forward, the Panzer just howitzering down the left, I, I feel like that could work. I mean, I think the Panzer is good enough to get up and down. He does sort of feel like that kind of player. We, we've all got, I know we've all got a lot of faith in him. You know, we've seen a lot of him so far. He's got, he's not got brilliant stamina, but natural fitness is good. His acceleration is good. Teamwork, work rate. He's, he's got the, I think he's got the numbers to get up and down. So today for the first time, we're going to try Ajnani as an attacking inside forward with the Panzer swooping around to the left and see if we can, you know, cause a little bit more damage to the other teams in this league. Start. We're in an alternate universe, says Luke. Well, I mean, yeah, in more in more ways than one. Welcome to my alternate universe. So I think we're in pretty good shape. I think we're in pretty good shape. I've decided that uh, Lucas Gruen uh, is going to get a start in central midfield today um, because it's time it's time to give him a good blooding. He's 21 Dutch. Uh, I think he's he's just got an awful lot about him. I'm looking forward to having him. When um, if Lapaglia gets injured in future, of course, Hero will drop into that central midfield role, and uh, Vincenzo is going to go. Uh, into attacking midfield. Oh, he's such a dream. I'm so happy to have him coming in. It's fantastic. So, yeah, Byron Bub kind of annoyed me in the last game, so I've decided, as much as I love Byron, it's time for him to sit one out. Karoma also really should have scored a hat-trick, but he's shown us that he's clearly our best right winger. Um, so he can he can continue to start. Otherwise, I think this is pretty good. So we're going to get going. Um, the Panzer always looks solid. Yeah, exactly. Um, Bale, what was the FC United result? Uh, so... It was 2-1 to us. Yeah, that's right there. Chris is in the chat. It was 2-1 to us and it was 3-0 last time. Um, uh, so the stud is... I mean, he's at 76%. He'll be back soon. Um, he'll, be, he'll be back soon, but not today. So Bonkers Baz continues up front. Uh, he's only got 91%, but that's okay. Craig Ferris can come off the bench. And you know what? We're just going to go straight into this first game against Worksop. Let's give Worksop a good working over got a good feeling about this i mean they're they're a good side but we've started the season really well really really well um i've changed this to control because i felt like in the last couple of games i switched to control and we were just tremendous in all of those games so control seems to be at the moment it seems to be the one that we're the most suited for go out there and impress me yes no one listening as usual fantastic it's exactly what i want to see if they don't listen to me and they win that's fine that is absolutely fine let's do a little bit of quick the only problem with Ajnani being an inside forward is that I need him to mark the fullback, uh, but not the left back. But for some reason, he's on left back. That doesn't make any sense. Should be on right back, and Omar should be on left back. Frustrating this, but we have to do it. It's the only way to stop our fullbacks getting overloaded. Right, let's give him a good. Let's give works up a good going over, shall we? Here we go. First game of the day. Thank you for joining me again after yes yesterday's horrendous crash. Um, I appreciate you all sticking with me. Get with the it would it could have been catastrophic but it's all good it's not a corrupted save it's not anything like that it was just a momentary thing with steam oh that's a good ball into the ball oh, growing he's only five foot five he's got no chance getting his head on those i've changed my steam to offline mode now as well which will hopefully stop that from being a problem yesterday the steam the steam servers went down which i'm pretty sure molna get that yeah good blocks i'm pretty sure that's the reason that everything went to pot yesterday anyway away we go Oh, that's got to be a foul. Yeah, it is. Uh, Destroying Angels. Sorry that you missed it yesterday. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? I know with the, some internet can be can be a little bit sketchy. And this is... I mean, we're, we're streaming in 1080p. They're actually a little bit all over us in the early stages here. That was a good block. Yeah, it, we're streaming in 1080p, so it is quite... It's probably quite demanding on your connection. 
if your connection is being like if it's being used for other things if your computer's got other stuff running in the background it might find it a little bit difficult to stream it um good header molnar love a bit of that Sooty's voice, welcome back. Yeah, we beat them. We beat them again. We beat them again. Still fairly comfortable. It was only 2-1 this time. So it did, doesn't look as comfortable. But honestly, we spent the whole game in their box. Uh, or in their third, at least. They come up. They came up our end of the pitch once. Oh, got a really good header on target. And speaking of which, that was nearly 1-0. Works off are looking pretty good. Switch us down to counter. We've had 15 minutes of not very much. A little bit of a worrying start. We're not really getting tackles in. Pans has done well there, really well. They're kind of playing through us a little bit. Oh, Molnar, he's so good at getting those headers in. Karoma tried to kill that guy there, which is exactly what we want to see, obviously. Oh, Ajnani's done well. Barry Hales isn't really going to chase those, to be fair. We probably shouldn't be putting the ball over the top for Hales. I have told them to come down to short passing. Um, I did that before the FC United game. Because because Barry Hales up front going direct. I mean, going direct to his head is one thing. But he hasn't really got many players around him to flick onto. So we should just be keeping it short. Yeah, I mean, they, they're seeing quite a lot of the ball works up. But they're not actually doing a lot with it. That's a good ball. Forget everything I said about Barry Hales not being able to get in behind. He absolutely has there. Oh, yes. Oh, Groen is already down to 70%. Oh, dear. And Groen, I will. 70% already. We're only half an hour in. Oh, Barroso. Head it at goal, mate. Oh, what are you doing? Head it goalwards, Barroso. Okay, this hasn't been a brilliant start so far. Uh... It's been very it's been very muted compared to our really excellent performances recently. That is terrible from Renfern, but Molnar has done stupendously once again. Well done, Omar. This is a lot better. Oh, Barry Hales, what a ball inside. Ajanani should have gone wide, but that's okay. We've still got it. Haro is in! Oh, it's a great save. Oh, he is offside. Oh, we could have been looking at our first goal of the day. Decent build-up. Decent build-up. Barry Hales showing his quality. Showing his years of experience. Hero. Absolutely unchallenged. Doing some pirouettes. Wins us a corner. I'm really looking forward to when we can sign a really fast striker. That That's going to be a really great day because, you know, the stud... I mean, look at how many goals the stud gets by being put through on goal. Oh, and finding himself one-on-one -on -one and, like, in the clear. He finds himself one-on-one -on -one in the clear all the time, and he really doesn't have a huge amount of pace. Imagine if we had a striker that had a lot of pace. This is a very, very dangerous counter-attack. We've actually done really well to force them wide. Oh, that's brilliant defending. Absolutely superb. That was a really dangerous counter-attack that we defended really well. If Nova Kane was here, he would have loved that. He would have absolutely loved it. Uh, Bale, by the way, is playing with Steam in offline mode possible for streaming? Well, here we all are, so obviously yes. Uh, it seems that would prevent the error you had yesterday. That's exactly why I've done it. So yes, I, I'm, we must be able to stream, unless none of you can see the game, which I assume you all can, or I would have had lots of complaints. Um, it does seem that way, yeah, because um, Steam being on, off, online or offline doesn't, doesn't stop the game from working as long as you start it up in offline mode and then restart. You have to restart the whole game. But I already had done that because we'd crashed anyway. Okay, so that wasn't a very good half. Um, I'm going to say keep going out there and you can still win today. We're not really, not really hitting the mark with these team talks. Let's try and just... Yeah, there we go. We've got a little bit. Good. A little bit of happiness around the squad is always good. I have faith in all of them to do better. We'll go back to control because I'm a bit, little bit tired of workshop having the ball. Bale, I'm just realising that you might have missed me saying earlier that I've gone to offline mode. So sorry, yeah, I just, I just, I've, I, I thought you were commenting on the fact that I said that I'd gone to offline mode, but I'm now sort of realising that you might have missed me say that. But yes, earlier in the stream I said that I've switched Steam to offline mode in order to try to prevent that. So you're absolutely right. Sorry, I realised that what I just said might have sounded a bit sassy. It wasn't supposed to. I just got the wrong end of the stick. My bad. 
but you are a- absolutely 100% right. And if I hadn't already done that, I would be switching the game off and restarting it right now. Anyway, no need for that. We've already got to 60 minutes. My goodness, 60 minutes. We're really not, uh, we're really not creating something. Something's going to have to change. Hero's on a 5.7, and I don't really feel like that's fair. I mean, look at that header. Brilliant flick header away. Groen hasn't really done enough. I mean, you can see from the fact that... So, like, when Hero was playing centre mid where Groen is playing now, you can see how much better we were with, with Hero in there in the last few games. He just drifts around so well. He's really well suited to that, to that position. He's good in attacking midfield as well, but he's obviously no Lapaglia. I mean, who is? Here we go. This is a good little move. Karoma, get past him. Get past him. Ah, another corner. Corners haven't really worked out for us today. I'm going to make some changes in a sec. I'm going to bring Steve Jags and Craig Ferrells on. Ah, oh, corner. It's just not... This is not... We're just not really playing very well, is all that's really happening. Not really doing anything. I'm going to give Craig Ferrells a run. Uh, Ajanani isn't doing well. Haro isn't doing very well. I'm going to... Uh, uh, oh. Okay, there's a thing on a minute. I'll watch their corner. What do we think, team? Should we should we take off Haro? Even though he's probably more likely to cause some danger than Ajana. I feel like taking Ajanani off, even though he's got a slightly better rating for the game. Because oh Barry. Because Ajanani's rating is better, but Haro is actually more likely to do something, even though his rating isn't very good. What do we think? Let me know what you think. Yeah, so um Plumpy Chunk says, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, Bobby. Bobby Jansen has not solved our goalkeeping problem at all, has he? That is just a simple catch. What has he done? What has he done? Okay, well, now we really need a goal. Um, Bale, no, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, my, I think actually it, it could have been a, it could have been a combination of, of. I think it might actually have been my internet that might have just gone like that, and it might have just taken everything out. I did think that because I saw that there was an offline error message on Streamlabs. So you're quite right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if they use the same cloud provider, actually. That's a good point. But, uh, yeah, it did, it did seem like everything just went bleh all at the same time. This is a, this is shocking now. So, um, Ajanani is doing nothing except for making me feel like he doesn't warrant a place in the team. Um, I might just ditch wingers because they're not working and just go like this. And now we can also go target man to head and we can let the others run off of him get our full backs up a little bit go a little bit more attacking I think that's the wings have done nothing for us today absolutely nothing we might as well just have everybody up front um, Steve Jags could come on I don't really see the point of putting Steve Jags on at the moment and or bulk I mean I guess oh, we'll put him on for Groen actually because Groen is a bit tired Steve Jags has got that magic, hasn't he? He's got that sparkle in his eyes. He's got that square jaw. He's got what it takes to haul us out of this nightmare. I'm going to switch to attacking as well. That was what I meant to do that before. I'm going to go attacking and see how we get on. They've, I mean, it's been a pretty even game, I would say. No one's really had great chances, though. This is a good chance, Al. We've def we have defended well. Jan Jansen has really stitched us up. I mean, he's shown twice that he can't catch. They have had seven shots, but I mean, they, they've been around our area more, but they haven't really created anything. Because Janssen hasn't had to make a save. He, hasn't, he couldn't even save the one that he did have to make. But their keeper hasn't done much either, so it's not been a brilliant... It's not been a vintage performance. Oh, but with Barry Hales on the pitch, there's always a chance. Come wide, come wide, come wide, come wide. Oh, that's a great ball in for Baz. Oh, another save. Oh, he was offside anyway. My God. My God, we're offside too much is another problem. Right, okay, I've got, an, I've got another plan. 
We're going to go wing backs now. Wing back attack. That'll get them up there. For some reason, Panzer got just over the halfway line there and then stopped running when we really could have done with a wide outlet. So we're going to we're going to go attacking on the fullbacks for the last 20. Oh, you've got to be joking. You've got to be joking. What is Jansen doing? He's so lucky to not be sent off there. What's he doing? Suddenly, James Gilpin is starting to look like a really solid option, isn't he, lads? My God. I, I honestly thought, when, when Janssen agreed to sign, I genuinely thought, and this was my mistake, I thought, we're sorted for a goalkeeper for the next three or four seasons. We won't need anyone else. He's going to do the job. Couldn't, I, I genuinely couldn't have been more wrong. Janssen has been a total liability. Chris says the second time he's shot the bed. That's the third time. Remember that goal? He let in a goal where a guy just smashed the free kick forward aimlessly straight towards him. And he just went eh, and just flapped it up into the roof of his own net. He's, he, that's three. That's three. Two of which have led to goals. And one of which has led to him get, getting coming outside his box with the ball and getting booked. Madness. Absolute madness. Ah. Uh. Oh, Steve Jags has got a knot. Oh, Steve Jags is injured. This, this is a terrible game. This is a, just an awful game. Panzer's let a cross come in. Oh, Volk's done well. Volk's just on. DMC12, yeah, 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 you're right. Tim, he's young. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, he is young. Oh, he's caught one there. He is young. He is still blending into the squad. I mean, he probably does speak English because he's Dutch. But yeah, I mean, his language skills aren't going to be 100%. But you don't need to be able to speak English to catch a football as it comes towards you if you're a goalkeeper. I'm not sure that not being able to speak the language is his limitation. Oh, Karoma off the bar. Why are we offside so much? We are offside. We've we've had three really good chances in this game, none of which have gone down as clear clear cut chances because we were offside for all of them. And it actually says we've had no shots on target, which I guess is true because even though we have, they were all pulled back for offside. I don't really know why my players are suddenly offside so much. This is possibly just a really terrible day. It looks like. Maybe he shouted, not my ball, and nobody understood filing. True. That could have happened. Yes, that could have happened. See, he can catch, clearly. He does have the ability to catch. He just hasn't used that ability. Oh, dear. Yeah, Gilpin, Gilpin is Scottish. Language is going to be an issue. Correct. Yes. Language-wise, we're in trouble either way. Oh, can we just... No, we can't, can't even just bundle one through and get a shot on target. Ah, uh, Okay. Oh, that's a good ball for Craig Ferros. Yes, get in there, Craig Ferros. Oh, 95th minute equaliser. Oh, my God. I'm not sure if I can say that we really deserve it, but we've got it. The important thing is we've got it. Craig Ferros. Oh, thank God for Craig Ferros. Oh, hero, hero. I'm so glad I didn't take him off. I knew he had that little bit of magic. Oh, what a calm finish from Craig Ferros under all the pressure in the world. That is a fantastic goal. What a result. Now we just need to not... A boar draw. It was a little bit dull, that game. Jeez, what a... Oh. Sympathise? No, I don't think so. That was not good enough, and you should all look fired up. Good response from the players. Oh, can you believe that? My God. Last minute equaliser. My heart can't take this. Oh, dear. Zakid, playing play through defence might be splitting the high defensive line. I don't know what you mean. Sorry. We haven't got a high defensive line. I play deep defensive line. Uh, so that, I don't think that's the problem. I, I might be misunderstanding you. But yes. 
Best to be lucky than good. No, it's definitely best to be good, but luck helps. Luck helps. That was pretty lucky. And that was... It, I mean, in, in truth, it was a pretty boring game, wasn't it? They didn't really do a huge amount. They definitely did more than we did. But thank goodness for that. My God. Well, I've got to say... Um, I better go. It was something special. Uh, their confidence is high and that can only bring good performances. Uh, I'm not talking about their players. There we go. Good stuff. I think we're, I think we're good. Um, our Crystal Palace wants Sterling. I wanted Sterling. We could really do with the stud. Uh, we could really do with the stud to come back. And Ajnani, I mean, he's rated so highly by all my coaches. Look at how highly he's rated as a left, mid, left midfielder. And he, I mean, by the look of him, you'd think that he would be a world beater at this level. Um, but he he's just not really done anything. He's not done anything to make me think we really need to keep him in the team. Um, oh, you mean about the... Ah, oh, Zach, you mean about the reason we keep getting caught offside? Sorry, uh, you're, you might be right about that. Penner, hi, mate. Thanks for joining us. You just missed a very, very boring 1-1 draw. Where, uh, but Craig Ferrell scored an equaliser in the 95th or something minute. So we'll have some of that. If they're playing a high defensive line and your offside play through defence can split their line. I see. Okay, so you're saying that we should go with play through defence. Got it. I thought you meant the reason they kept having chances was because of our high defensive line. No, no, you're quite right. I just misunderstood. That's good. That's good to know, actually, in future, if we're, if we're constantly getting caught offside. Because, yeah, they must be playing an offside trap that we're just boneheadedly falling for every time. Oh, Melvin Vene Venema. Oh yeah, he oh yeah, he was that left wing back I signed in the summer. Oh well, yeah. we might be playing with wing back soon. I what do you what do you guys think about the? Uh, I mean, Ajnani, I'm not sold on him. I'm sure none of you are sold on him either. But the Panzer as an attacking fullback, it didn't. We didn't really. I didn't feel like we really. Um, I felt like we benef Well, he didn't really do anything coming forward. But I don't feel like we we lost out coming in the other direction. It's not like they had loads of chances down his flank or anything. And when they did get down his line, he usually got back. I mean, it's probably going to mean that he's knackered after every game. But I sort of felt like maybe we could be a bit more adventurous with our fullbacks now. Let me know what you think in the chat. Um... So just catching up with the chat. Um... Yeah, blending the blending in does take a while. It's a shame it takes a while for my goalkeeper. God, yeah, just that was that is a real shame. I think we've got to keep faith in him though, because he can actually make saves occasionally. Whereas Gilpin, you can't rely on him to do anything except be a world world class right back every now and again. Um, but Birchie, yeah, exactly. Um, Ajnani is no, he's not rated as a CM. He's he's rated as a he's basically he is a left midfielder. But they also said that he's my best central midfielder. So yeah, they he was rated. He isn't highly rated as a CM. He's rated as my best CM, but that doesn't really mean anything because my other CMs are not very highly rated. So yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, Bill Huppler, we got caught out on the left with that five on two counterattack, but scrambled back well. I mean, with, with counterattacks like that, Everyone is forward, and I mean, that was one of our. We had a corner or something. Everyone is always forward for that. I don't think that counter attack was because we had Panzer going forward. Um, yeah, you're right. You know, you're right. You're right. You're right. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. You're right. Pa oh, Sterling's gone alone to Palace. Yeah, you're right. We should. I shouldn't. I don't. I don't. I try really hard not to ditch people after just one bad game or one bad performance. I just think that. Considering how good Haro has been, I mean, he's come in and just settled immediately. Even Barroso, Ezekiel Barroso at centre back has looked completely solid. Like, and the Panzer, it's just for it, I find it's difficult when some players settle immediately and others don't. And you look at the ones that don't, and you're like, well, why can't you settle as fast as the others? Of course they can't. Of course they can't. You're all absolutely right. And we shall keep the faith. You shall. Yeah, personality thing is true. Actually, does Ajnani have mental weaknesses, according to your coaches? like adaptability or something that's a good that's a good question uh I, I'll, I'll get a coach report and we'll see what they say it's true Adnani might maybe just needs a bit more time it could be that by the end of the season he is just like Riyad Mahrez coming in off the wing but from the other side you know like when, when Mahrez was at Leicester when the, the, the season they won the league and Mahrez was just an absolute revelation coming in off the right on his left foot 
I feel like that's the thing is that I think in my head, I thought Ajinani was going to just do that from day one because he's easily good enough to just skin every defender in this league. He just sort of isn't doing it. Maybe I could change him to support as well. That's the other thing. Changing to support can help um, because it takes the pressure off a little bit. Um, because when you, when you put them when you put inside forwards and wingers on attack, you're basically you're telling them that they have to run at the defense every time and then try and shoot or find a killer pass. And if they're still bedding in, getting them to run at people and having the ball taken off them all the time is maybe not a good idea. So with support, they just sort of he kind of cuts in and tries to find space. So maybe we'll change him to support. We'll leave Omar on attack as a winger because he's done really well uh, with that. So maybe we'll we'll try that. That's a good idea. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, now oh, I tried to get Azar, he got released on a free transfer, but we've not, obviously we're not going to get him. We should have, yeah, the stud is back. Thank goodness, the stud is back. We've definitely missed him as a complete forward. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, Gaff is back. Gaff, welcome. The season's got begun really well, actually. We just had a pretty terrible draw against Worksop, where Craig Ferrell scored in the 95th minute to get us a, to get us a draw. Uh, but we are unbeaten. We, we've we've drawn two and one, three or four now. So we're unbeaten. Unbeaten start to the season. We're top of the table. Uh, Martin, have you seen Edinburgh Fringe has been cancelled? I have. Yes, I have seen that the Fringe has been cancelled. That is a, it's 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 obviously the right decision, but it's such a shame. It's like the world's it's the world's biggest arts festival. It's the biggest uh, cultural event after the Olympics. It's a bit it's a bigger cultural event or a bigger public event than the World Cup. It's massive. Um, Edinburgh will really miss um, the money that it makes. It's just such a great event, but yeah, what can you do really? Okay, so we'll get a we'll get a coach report. I'm not do it in training. Don't actually know how you do it. Um, Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, request training report I can get. So we'll get a training re report from Paul Balsam since he's actually my best uh, coach, I think. Uh, let's have a quick look. Feels like his progress has stalled because he needs a new challenge. Yeah, so he's a competent centre mid and a competent attacking mid, but clearly left midfield, a flat left midfielder is his best position. Uh, attacking midfield left shouldn't be that much of a shouldn't be that much of a problem for him. Maybe we'll take him off quickness. Uh, and maybe we'll put him on, maybe just put, I could just put him on dribbling. I feel like dribbling is what I want him to do. Or composure. I don't know. What do we think? I'm going to go dribbling for the time being. Yeah, the, Fe the Edinburgh Festival is amazing. Um, so yeah. Yeah, Gaff, thanks for joining us again. Good to see you. I don't know if you, did you miss yesterday? I don't really remember. Um, I think you might have done, but it's good to see you again, mate. We're doing pretty well. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Yesterday we crashed. The game crashed, uh, which was a bit annoying. And we lost one result, which I had to replay overnight. But we got the same result second time, which is that we won both. We signed Barry Hales as well. For if, In case you missed Barry Hales signing for us. Massive. Righto. Oh. Little bit of processing. Gary Flitcroft is in charge at Chorley, saying that I've got a weak squad. Everybody thinks that we've got a weak squad. I don't. I don't need to waste my time with Gary Flitcroft. The likes of him. Tim, maybe you should just find him until he plays well. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. I think I'll probably. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that in my locker for later. I think I'll keep it in my locker for later. Oh, goodness me. Thank you for all coming into the chat again. Everybody, lads. Bunch of absolute lads. How's everybody doing today? Has anybody got any fun quarantine stories? Or just fun uh, working from home stories in the chat? Let us know. Keep us amused. Um, our media prediction, I think somebody just asked. Oh, Zakid, Media prediction is second, which is quite a lot of pressure. Um... Agent K, welcome welcome to the chat. We're doing okay. We just had a really terrible draw with Worksop where uh, Bobby Janssen, our goalkeeper, committed an absolute howler of a mistake 
uh, to give them the lead. But then Craig Ferrell scored a, an equaliser in the 95th minute. So we drew. That was good. Um, oh, Bemos. God, I forgot about your house move. Bemos, how did it go? Let us know how it went. It sounds like you've just done it, which is good. Um, Gaff, uh, yeah, you missed you missed a little bit of it. We have got another South American starlet. Oh, I'll tell you what you will have missed. What you will have missed is that we've got an, an Italian-American Oh, just dreamboat on his way in. Vincenzo Bernardo. Look at him. Doesn't he make you have certain feelings that you that you aren't sure about? I think I think there's only one answer to that. And also, he's going to be a really good attacking midfielder for us. Oh, I just got the little dingles. Greg Mantis 01. I know who you are, Greg Mantis 01. Thanks for, for, thanks for joining. Thanks for following. Very much appreciated, mate. Great to see you. Um... Penas' Gilpin was immense for me in this version. Well, we're not going to get rid of Gilpin. We're not going to get rid of Gilpin. Um, Gaff, how did you manage to pull that signing off? Well, I didn't spend all of my wage budget, which I, I, I realise that that's hard to believe, but I didn't blow all my wage budget. And so when he became available, when he just popped into my, uh, into my list of available players, I had the money that he wanted. And also we can offer really good um, loyalty bonuses now. And loyalty bonuses seem to go a really long way. So I've, I've tied him down to, I think, a three-year three, three year contract. He, he comes in in uh, two weeks, and it's going to be very exciting. Oh, excellent stuff. What else we got? File him. I just got April Fool. Told the off-license would close from 6 p.m. today and fell for it. As an Irishman, I started sweating. Christ, I would have fallen for that too. I really need to head out and get some more stuff today. Um, <laughs> that's a good, oh, close for good. Oh God, close for good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, that is a bad one. That is a bad one. That list said Chester's wage bill was 325k. Really? Wow. Yeah, the, you're right. Actually. Yeah, we are. I didn't see that RVX. Good spot. Starbury, my two week quarantine, uh, is over today. I can get some groceries. Good for you. I'll take Vincenzo Bernardo off the screen now because, uh, I, everybody's just going to be paralyzed with attraction so I mean I personally I think Craig Ferrell's probably deserves a star and I think it might be Ajnani who's going to make way it's hard to say what do we think about dropping Gruen how, how, what do we think about this team hang on a minute I've got an idea how do we feel about this now I know Craig Ferrell's is out of position there technically maybe we could you know what maybe we could put Craig Ferrell's hello now we're talking what about that because Craig Ferrell's came on there and scored that goal by being put through. How do we feel about just ditching the left winger for the from the beginning? Playing Ajnani centre mid where he's only he's not really natural, but he is technically my best centre mid according to my coaches. That could be worth a look. Tell me what let me know what you think about that in the chat. I think that has got potential. Eld Max Power, eldest child, ran into my bedroom at 7am shouting, it's snowing, it's snowing. <laughs> Brilliant. That is excellent. That is excellent. Yeah, with the with the Panzer pushing forward, I th it is a bit lopsided, but I really like an asymmetric formation. So if I can find any excuse to have one, I'm going to try that. Okay, we'll try that. You know, we'll try that and I'll set Ferroz's, uh, hang on a minute, we'll go into the player instructions. I'll set his instructions to move into channels. Oh, he's already got it, move into channels, fine. Yeah, so hopefully Ferroz might drift out to the left. Um, file him. That was so good. The, the off license one is that story is superb. Oh yes, sent, I sent panic texts to everyone I know. That is phenomenal. Oh Dmac, you were meant to be on holiday in Indonesia, mate. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Yeah, I I, I was gonna April Fools with um with uh, my Los Coladeros post this morning, but I, I decided that it's a, I thought, I decided it's just not in good taste at the moment. I decided not to go for it. Um, Bub can come back to the bench. I decided not to go for it, but um, that is, it, I don't know. It's good to see some April Fools. I mean, we, you've got, to, I think you've got to try and keep spirits up as much as possible. I just, just decided not to get called out. Some people actually thought when I posted my, uh, put my post up with Yapstam, Zinedine Zidane and original Ronaldo. I think a lot of people thought it was an April Fool anyway. Somebody, it might, Martin, it might have been you. Somebody actually accused me of uh, April fooling them. Right, lovely asymmetrical formation. I love a little bit of that. Right, here we go. The, uh, the only problem with the asymmetrical formation I'm just realising is that I don't have anybody to mark their fullback. Well, we'll just tell Ferros to do it anyway. Ferros is just going to have to mark uh, their right back. He's just going to have to do it. 
He'll have to just track back if we need him to. Whether he will or not, no idea. I think he's got the commitment. You know what? Maybe maybe I should do that instead. Mm, we'll see. We'll start like this. You know what? We could do the. We could tell these two to swap position. Haro and Ajnani. Because I, I sort of, yeah, Haro was better when he was slightly withdrawn. But he has done well filling in at AMC. Let's see. It was you, Martin. Yeah, I thought so. Ah, uh, that's good. Oh, DMAC, having fun at home, though, playing champ. That's good. I'm really glad about that. That's really good. Um, yeah, losing losing a holiday or something like that must would just be awful right now. Okay, that'll do. We're looking good. AFC Rushton against Chorley. Okay, here we go. Let's hope for a slightly better performance this time. Quite a big fan of that Chorley kit, I have to say. Okay, here we go. Get down the line, Panzer. Get down the line. See, Ferros has come wide. Oh, Ajanani into the box. Ooh, that might have been his first sight of goal as an AFC Rushton and Diamonds player. I just, I've got a, I've got a good feeling about Ajanani overall. I'm just, I just w really wanted him to just, just set the league alight. Just start like an absolute house on fire. He hasn't quite done it. But to be fair, that part of it's my fault because I didn't realise he was right-footed um, until, you know, he pl already played a few games for us. Oh, he nearly put Astudio in there. Nearly released Astudio. Yeah, this is... this. I think... I, look at this. This dominance down here. This is excellent. Hero. Oh, that's bounced off. Oh, Astudio. Oh, Astudio snapshot. Astudio snapshot. I don't know where Chorley are in the league. I didn't look. Come on, lads. Come on. 17 minutes in. It's been a good start. It's been all us so far. It's been a good start. Oh, Hero just about finds Karoma. Oh, Karoma shoots across goal. Off target. Off target again. Come on, lads. We just need somebody to actually hit the target here. Big Pete is absolutely dominant with these headers in centre mid. Absolutely dominant. He's won pretty much every goal kick so far. Oh, Astudio just over the bar. My quarantine story is that last night we ran out of mixers. And I really wanted a gin. So uh, we had some coconut milk. So I tried gin and coconut milk. Thinking it might be like a pina colada. I christened it the gin -a colada And it was disgusting. I can 100% uh, confirm... Uh, and recommend that you do not try gin and coconut milk. It doesn't work. I really thought it might be okay. I really had faith for a second. Maybe if there'd been a little bit of pineapple juice as well. It might have just... But no, it was disgusting. It was disgusting. And it was a stupid idea. It was a stupid idea. I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good free kick. Renfirm, is that going to go for a throw in? Oh, no, they're going to get a corner. There, it was revolting. I was desperate. We ran out of mixers. We ran out of mi <laughs> What do you want me to do? I need to drink, guys. I need to have a drink. So, oh, we'd run out of mixers. I mean, I could have used beer, but I decided gin and beer was, uh, was just a, was a, was a road to not waking up this morning. Renfrew's going to get to that. Oh, he's done quite well. Oh, he's flicked the ball in. Oh, Craig Ferros. Not quite underneath it. Get that, Renfrew. Brilliant challenge. Great tackling back. Not a great cross. My, my players are just re just regaining possession with, with such ease. There's the Panzer. He's got forward. Come on, lads. Hero, find someone. He's found Craig Ferros. Ferros into the box. Oh, Ferros is offside. Another offside. Hang on a minute. I'm going to go with that. Uh, I'm going to try that. Um, where are we? Is it in team instructions? I don't actually know where it is. Oh, is it focus passing? Is it play? No. Uh, how do you play through defence? Maybe we shouldn't have the counter attack on either. Probably don't need to have that on for this game. Zakid, can you tell me how to actually set it to play through defence? I don't know how you do that. Is it a shout or is it a, is it an instruction? Oh, pl oh no, play out of defence. Oh, play through defence. Ah, there we go. Got it. Oh, that's a hopeful ball over the top. 
Gin and pineapple, exactly, Tim. Yeah, if, if we, it, yeah, gin and pineapple would have been excellent. Sipping on that gin and juice. Would have loved a bit of that. That would have been superb. Unfortunately, we didn't have that. Craig Ferroz does a little jink. What are you thinking, Craig? What are you thinking there? JD and Iron Brew. That sounds disgusting, Sooty's voice. Uh, water and squash is a good mixer in an emergency. Yes, unfortunately, I didn't have anything normal to use as a mixer. Um, which is why I, you know, desperate times resort, I re require desperate measures. Big Pete has just won another massive header. He's winning every single goal kick. Every Chorley goal kick, Big Pete is just pumping it back towards them again. It must be so demoralising to see your goal kicks just come flying straight back at you again via the head of an absolute fridge in midfield. That's a good ball in for the... Oh, Panza! Astudio nods it just over the bar. The Panza put a lovely ball into the box there. Mr. Hamtown, Mr. Hamtown, welcome to Diamond Geezers 2 and thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subscription. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. From the bottom of my ever depleting heart, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you can inspire us to going 1-0 up here, which I would really rather like, but oh, they're, they're playing. Chorley are sitting really deep. I'm going to gonna switch to attacking. Chorley are sitting really deep. Vodka and Lilt. Vodka and Lilt is genuinely awful. Is it really? I would have thought Vodka and Lilt would be excellent because Lilt is so good. Is it the vodka that ruins it? Because Lilt is... Lilt is an absolute game changer. I miss Lilt very much. Go on, Craigie. Give it back to the Panzer. Panzer's got a... He's got a cross on him. Oh, this is okay. Hero. Ajnani. Hero again. Oh, Hero bent one. Just wide. It feels like... It feels like it's only a matter of time, but... We've had seven shots, seven shots off target so far. Not clinical enough, but Chorley are doing a good job. Big Pete is in there yet again. Every single Chorley goal kick is coming straight back at them. Craig Ferrers is clearly my best left winger. That's That'll be a corner. Okay, see if we can do something from a corner. Tia Maria and Quantro is absolutely delicious. Can definitely, uh, can I can definitely recommend that. Uh, some Spanish lads I used to know at uni called, used to drink gin and milk. Well, I mean, that's that's my current. That's the next uh, attempt. Oh, that's the next thing I'm going to try. Milk uh, milk is the only mixer that I have for the gin, other than wine, beer, and water. And water's too boring. Wine and beer, again, it just doesn't seem like a good idea to put gin with uh, with other kinds of alcohol. Um, and, uh, and then milk is the only other thing we have. Oh, hero. He's done well, though. Hero's committed a foul, not got booked, and injured one of their players. Excellent stuff. Like the link-up between Ajnani and Hero. Yeah, Ajnani, while again not exactly setting the world alight, Craig Ferrells has done well in his advanced position on the left. Another header away. Oh, Wayne Daniel, get out of here. Send him off, ref. You can't assault Rodrigo Astudio like that. That's disgusting. I mean, to be fair, this game has been all us. If we could just get something on target, or get a decent cross in... If we could just put something in front of Astudio with a, with a clear look at goal, we'd be winning here. There's still time for them to have their one shot on target and beat us 1-0. There's still time. Plenty of time. Vodka and tequila ruins lives. Well, it depends. Sometimes it ruins lives. Sometimes it makes lives way better. Um... Yeah, Renfrum has one for crossing. Yeah, he, he shouldn't really be an attacking fullback. That's why I haven't got him as one. Um, I think as long as we've got Omar playing down the right, we don't need an attacking fullback to be behind him. Omar does all of our attacking on the right. We just need somebody behind him who can actually win the ball back, which... Oh, my God. I can't believe this. How, how far out is that, do you think? 40 yards? Just catch it. Ah. Oh. Why can't my players do that? <laughs> Just get anything on target and it might go in. Ah. <laughs> oh. Upsetting. 
It's because I made him captain. Oh, I didn't deliberately make him captain. But yeah, actually, yeah, no one else... <sighs> Deary me. Try and give Bobby a, uh, try and give him a nice team talk. He's not having it. Right, come on. This is what we need. We need the stud as captain. I can't change it. Why can't I change it? Why won't it let me change it? Oh, well, I can't change my captain, apparently. So here we go again for another half of dicking around and not quite scoring any goals. Oh, dearie me. Gilps isn't on the bench. We agreed that Gilps wasn't going to be on the bench, remember? <laughs> there is no Gilps. There's a, there's a strong chance that Gilps is coming back for the next game. A very strong chance. Because I've pretty much had enough of Janssen just for the time being. I think he needs to just sleep it off, you know? I think he needs to go to bed for a, for a few weeks um, and think about it. Because we can't have this, can we? We can't have every shot on target definitely going in. <laughs> it's not going to work out for me. Oh, dear. Deary me. From the stands, yeah. Gilpin in the stands, yeah. Come on, Ajnani. Come on, come on. We need something now. Again, uh, we're, we're relying on a bit of individual magic now. Again, because... Oh. If this was nil-nil, I'd be. Per I'd feel perfectly confident. Ajnani's done really well there to just wait for that defender to be useless and give him the ball back. Oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. We're not playing badly. That's the other thing I need to remember. I know I said a lot of that last season. <laughs> We're not playing badly. That's the, that's the, that's the big one. You know, we've, our shots haven't been on target today. Okay. You know, but we're still creating chances. If we weren't creating anything. Oh, Karoma's done really well to turn his man. Oh, great save. And the stud can't quite poke the rebound home. If we were playing terribly, then I'd be more worried. But we're not playing terribly. Feroz has completely fallen off of a cliff. So Byron Bubb is going to come back and be an attacking inside forward. Astudio. I mean, Astudio's on a six, but we haven't given him the ball. So I'm definitely not taking him off. I might change him to Poacher to give him slightly less to think about. Ajnani's down at 67%, so he can come into centre mid. I'm also going to tell them to stop swapping around now. Man. <laughs> Gil Gilps in the stand with a meat pie in his hand. Yeah, probably. Probably. Has anyone seen a picture of Gilps? Come on, Omar. Come on, make something happen, Omar. Corner's okay. Come on, guys. Need to remember that we're not actually playing badly. You know, a couple of these shots on target be a different story. Oh my god, off of his back. That's just, that is a pretty much a metaphor for how today's gone. Really good corner into the near post. One of my players, I'm not sure who it was, one of my players completely unmarked, just lets, lets it hit his back and, it, <laughs> and they clear it. <laughs> that is pretty much how this game has gone. And the last one, actually. We've, we've been pretty terrible in both games and I don't, not really sure what's changed. Since the crash, everything's, everything's just gone wrong since the crash. Let's just blame the crash. Adani, that's a great move. Oh, Astadio. Astadio has scuffed that. Well, when the stud is scuffing those wide, that, that, was, that was all I wanted. was just some the ball to be in front of the stud. A yard out. Oh, Corona's headed this wide. I, Astadio with the ball in front of him. Time to, time to shape himself. About eight yards out, in truth. Awful. Awful. That was appalling. That was appalling. I can't believe it. They've they've scored their one shot that they had in the entire game, which was from 40 yards. We couldn't get a single... Well, we got one shot on target, but we created 10 chances in the game and put nine of them off target. That's just a very, very bad day at the dog and duck. They've nicked it from us there, haven't they? 
Big Pete on the front post for headers. Well, yeah, we, we did try it last time. I'll change it. I'll change it back because at the beginning, um, the uh, the new RG defender uh, Barroso, he there was I think our first game of the season. He won about four headers from corners, so I've left him on them. Um, but he hasn't won one in a while, so yeah, we'll change it back to Big Pete. Tactical gamble fails. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck right off. My tactical gamble did not fail at all. It wasn't a tactical gamble. I'll try and stay positive. We didn't deserve that result, but the quality of our play was encouraging. Um, goals change games whenever they're scored. Remain philosophical, lads. Uh, I'm not talking about their goal. Uh, I'm not talking about that either. There we go. Easy. Easy done, easily done. Unlucky, right? Okay, that was disappointing. We're gonna, yeah, gonna change. Good, good suggestion. Uh, who was it in the chat that suggested? Uh, uh, oh, Bill, Bill Hupler, yeah, from Corners. You're quite right. Uh, where is he now? Adeni, yeah, he's in his challenge keeper at the moment, but he should change with Barroso. Attack near post. Whoever's on attack near post is usually the one that actually wins it. And he won so many headers in that game that, uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely our premier header winner. So hopefully that will help. But oh, that is so disappointing. Yeah, we got we got champed there. We got champed. I mean, we only put one shot on target as well. But we, we had the ball. They only had the ball that one time. <laughs> And they had it 40 yards from goal. So everyone, understandably, my players were like, well, you can have the ball 40 yards out. We're not too worried about it. Should have been worried. Should have been much more worried. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of, there's been a lot of madness today. That game was mad. Um, we got champ there. And Los Calderos today, the, the episode of Los Calderos was mad as well. It's the same thing. I mean, the same... I, I'm bringing my form from that into this is what's happening is that... You know, regardless of how well you do, or, or you know, you set the team up, they play exactly the way that you want them to play. They just can't get their shots on target. You know, I can't make my players get shots on target. I can only tell them how to play. Gilps is getting another chance in goal. I think Bobby Jansen needs to sit out for a couple of weeks. Uh, I don't think this Craig Ferrer's experiment failed as such, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to keep Craig as a as a, as an impact sub. We'll give Byron another chance. I feel like Vickers is, is time for Vickers to come back towards the first team. Um, maybe I should swap Ajnani with Bub and we'll try that. Because Bub's also quite good in centre mid. Uh, difficult one. Yeah, Zakid, jumping wins you the header. Heading is how accurate it is. I, I just go with who, who I see winning headers. Because there are some players that have got terrible stats for certain attributes, and yet they still manage to be really good at it. Last season, we played a team where they had a player who was dribbling. He was running rings around us with his dribbling, and he had 10 for dribbling. It's, it, was, it was not proportionate. So I, just t I tend to see in-game who, who does certain things and then change it. Big Pete won virtually every header that he challenged for in that last game. Some of them were unchallenged, to be honest, but his heading is just tremendous. And I feel like Big Pete should be scoring headers from corn from corners. It was Molnar, then Molnar sort of dropped away. Barroso, in that first game, Barroso scored, and he won a couple of other headers from corners. Even Astudio actually wins a couple of headers from corners every when he, I put him in there every now and again. But I think Big Pete, he's also big as well. He's the reason we call him Big Pete. I think he's six foot four. I think he's our tallest player. So height is obviously going to help. Um so yeah, we'll try Big Pete on near post. That's a good suggestion. Um Yeah, last season's top scorer in the league we were in had six for finishing. It, attributes mean nothing. You just have to keep an eye um Dugan is still looking for a shot ahead of a pass, and you guys wonder why I don't play him. Chris Johns. Ooh, he's got a face. Oh, wants, oh, wants youth terms. Fine. You, you. Chris Johns, you are in. I All the goalkeepers I can get, you are 100% in. I'm on 660. Oh, you must be joking. 
Oh, uh, you're on 666 views. Must be that. Yeah, that's definitely it. The devil's in the detail. That is true. Um, oh, I didn't look at other results, Chris Donahue. You're quite right. Let's have a look at other results. I know that we dropped down to second and Bradford PA are up to top. Five youth stars, exactly. Um, DMC12, is that enormous youth player not still there? Yeah, we've... Yeah, so, yes, Joe Jordan you're thinking of. We do have that enormous youth player. I'm not just going to put him in a team because he's six foot seven. He, he does need to actually develop into a, you know, a, an actual footballer, I think, first. He was fun to have in the team when, when there was no nothing riding on it at the end of last season, but I think we'll just leave him for the time being. I think overall we need players that can actually tackle, defenders that can actually tackle. Yeah, but we do still have him. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll end up falling back on him. Gaff says, Mike, as a more experienced FMCM blogger, when do you think is the ideal time to end a save? God, that's a hard, that is a tough question. For me, I tend to end the save when I, when I get hungry. That's usually a good time to stop. Um, otherwise, never stop. Never stop. Just keep going. I, I tend to try to end on a high note, I think, is, to take your question seriously. End on a high note. Never, never walk away on a, on a negative because you might never come back to it. <laughs> you should try to get something positive out of your, out of it before you save an exit, because it makes me look forward to coming back. Honestly, yesterday during that run with Los Coladeros yesterday, for those of you that have read it, there's a moment in the save in in the episode where I wrote. I honestly don't know how much, how much longer I can keep doing this. And at that point, I nearly just stopped writing and just quit, quit the whole thing because I was so tired of it. But I knew, even if it had been... I mean, obviously, I can't do that because I'm, we, we need to get to, through the Champions League. Um, no, we're not... No, 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 we're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. No, no, no. Adam Dugan's game is not going to improve if he starts using his weaker foot at all. Oh, we've got a few suggestions of players that actually have faces. Wait, was that... Dale Jennings. <gasps> Wait, is that the that can't be the Dale Jennings that went to Bayern Munich? Was it Dale Jennings? Was the, he was? Uh, hang on a minute. Am I thinking of someone else? There was a kid whose surname is Jennings. Who went to Bayern? Oh, there. No, it was not. He's already. He's still there. I got the name right though, lads. I did get the name right. Dale Jennings. Dale Jennings. Yeah, that kid that went to Bayern from Tranmere. That was it. I'm pretty happy with my memory there. I wonder if we can get him on loan. Oh no, they're not going to let him go. Um, we'll be hard to integrate the kids in the first team with the three subs thing. Yeah, RVX, you're absolutely right. Oh yeah, Penna, sorry, you've, you've made a couple of suggestions for players. Um, I should have a quick look at them. We're getting closer to Vincenzo arriving, everybody, and that is going to... that he's, he's, our, he's our shining light. When he arrives, everything's going to be fine. He can speak English, which is obviously crucial. Um, he's not a goalkeeper, which means that he can't possibly do that badly. Um, and he's also just such... Oh, he's such a dreamboat. I'm going to try and get him to move in next door to me if I can. Um, Liam Head or Matt Leconte on loan. Penner. I like your suggestions. I like your enthusiasm for players. No one is coming in on loan <laughs> from from and unless they're not at uh, good clubs already. The chances of anybody wanting to come on loan to this division, I think we've pretty much ruled it out. It seems to be proven that virtually no one wants to come here on loan. My loan list is a who's who of players you've never heard of and would never sign under any circumstances. But we'll have a look. We'll have a look. Oh, Matt Leconte was at Plymouth. Ah, well, in that case... In that case, we might have a chance. Um, yeah, d d integrating the kids. Oh, what's Miles Weston up to? Oh, Miles Weston. That's a good suggestion as well. Let's have a quick look. There he is, Miles Weston. Oh, he's at Brentford. Ah, oh, he's, he's he's chosen well. He's chosen well. He is a bit of a lower league speedster. We'll get we'll, we'll get a report card for him, and then we'll look up old. Uh, Matt Leconte, 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 Matt Lecoin. I'm not sure how you say it. Plymouth under 18s. Mm. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. Not interested in coming. Maybe we can get him on loan. No, nope, because oh no, because he has, uh, hasn't got a contract. Oh well, we'll uh, we'll 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 scout him anyway. Um. 
Who about, oh, what was your other suggestion? Oh, Liam Head. Let's have a quick look. Liam Head. Oh, TNS. Oh, TNS. Can you imagine if... Oh, that, we're never getting a strike from TNS. Who'd want to leave them? They're Europe, one of Europe's best teams. I know we are as well, but you know we need a little bit of time. Oh, Lee Mills. Oh, where, where did you used to live in Hampshire? I used to live in... Oh, you went to uni there. Oh, there there is no Lee Mills, unfortunately. Unless we're all spelling his name wrong. No, he might have retired. There were a lot of retirements at the end of last season. Um, where did you live in Hampshire? I used to live in Chandler's Ford. Of all places. Oh, Gaff. Um, I meant covering the team altogether. Oh, you mean... Oh, I see. Uh, when, when do you stop covering the team? Uh... I imagine you win the league every season back-to-back -back CL titles. No, I don't. Well, no, so I, I stop when I've won everything. When I've won everything that's reasonable. So with Los Coladeros, I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm probably just going to stop at the end of this season, to be honest, because I'm kind of starting. Even though we're about to sign Stam, Zidane and Ronaldo, I'm kind of losing a little bit of luster for it. Um, because, because, and the reason is because we've won La Liga and we've won the Copa del Rey. I don't. I'm not interested in them anymore. I've already won them, so the the the, the I'm not really interested in those competitions anymore. I'm only interested in the Champions League, um, but I still have to do well in the league in order to qualify for the Champions League the following season. If I don't win it, so I probably should keep Los Coladeros going until we've won the Champions League. But uh, I just don't know if I I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. I I'm starting to lose a little bit of um, enjoyment from Los Coladeros now. Because because of, because we've already won everything apart from the one competition. But of course, you can't just play the one competition. You still have to play everything else around it, um, and it's just a slog. It's becoming a little bit of a slog. Um, see if Sean Evans is in, just because I knew him with the guy that hosts Hot Ones. Let's have a look. I'd love to have the host of Hot Ones. Oh my God, there he is, Stourbridge. Ah, well, if you knew, if there's players on the game that you knew in real life. Um, I used to know this guy, Ollie Kenny. He wasn't actually a footballer. Oh, he's not on it. He's not on it. So that guy, Ollie Kenny, that I just searched for, I went. I went to. I was uh, in halls with him at uni, and he actually works for Sports Interactive. He went there as a tester right out of uni, and I think he's still there. I think he got. I'm pretty sure he was in this version of the game, which is a fun little fact. Um, so be honest, we do have Sean Evans. So yeah, yeah, Gaff. Sorry. I think um, after you've, you should. What you should do really is that at the beginning of your challenge, you should set yourself a target. And then you stop when you've when you've met it or when it's clear that you're never going to achieve it. But you should just keep I think you should keep going until you've met the target that you, you that you set at the beginning. So if you're asking about your Spurs save, I would say set yourself a target that you that you wanted to achieve at the beginning. You know, if, if it's that you wanted to win the Premier League and the Champions League with Spurs. I would either I would just keep going until you've either done that or until you just decide we're never going to do this. It's just never going to happen because no matter how much we strengthen, teams around us are strengthening. And I, I understand that after a while it becomes a bit of a slog because that's how I'm feeling at the moment about Los Coladeros because I just want to win the bloody Champions League. But it's so hard to do it. So, so hard. Um, Nutmeg Matt Ritchie once. Nice, nice. Um... Oh, Martin, Chris O'Neill. Yeah, Chris O'Neill. I did have him in one of my champ saves. He, he must have surely retired. Yeah, he's gone. Unfortunately, that's a shame. Um, okay, so guys, Jesus, what do we do? I mean, do what do we do? Do we keep the faith even still? Or do we start thinking about ripping it up and starting again? I, I feel like I feel like we should just... The, the team, this team, pretty much... I mean, we're missing a couple of our players from before. Maybe I should... Tr you know what? I'm going to give Vickers a go. I'm going to give Vickers a go back in centre mid. Vickers finished last season so strongly. Um, Gaff, I feel that... Yeah, no, yeah, you're right. There's no, there's no, need, to, there's no need to tear it all up. Um, yeah, RVX, if you stop doing Los Colaleros, will you go on holiday for 10 years? I'll definitely go on holiday for at least one season when we've got Zidane and Ronaldo and, uh, and Stam and see how they get on. I'll definitely do that for sure. I just don't know if I can play through another, especially with this now as well. There's, I'm just running out of I'm running out of time and Los Coladeros isn't really holding my attention because we've won so much. Um, uh, yeah. Gaff, I feel that the Spurs save is still fun but I don't know what else there is to achieve from what we've already done. 
Yeah, I think I think you should just you should just finish your season and finish your season and go for, go for something new. Go for a lower league save. Um, after we're done with this, I might move to FM twenty, poss- uh, possibly. I'm not. I haven't decided yet, but uh, I might move to FM twenty. I've been watching a few. I'm just gonna. We're gonna play this. Who have we got next? It's, oh, actually, let's have a quick look at the league. So we've got Leak away. Leak are eighth, and we are second. It is very, very tight at the top. One point separates second to what position is that? Eleventh. So the entire top half of the table, apart from Bradford, is separated by one point. I mean, we're, we, obviously we're only six games in, so it doesn't really mean anything. But yeah, I have changed goalkeeper. Gilps is in. Gilps is in. Change captain. Oh well, I don't know who my captain is, but it's not it's not Bobby Anson anymore. That's for sure. I have actually set my captains according to uh according to influence jansen just has very high influence um so yeah i haven't i haven't completely abandoned my captains i have actually set them uh i'll go and see who captain is in a minute hang on a minute i need to i need to as always i need to do this uh right back where is he where's the right back oh there he is and left back so my my captain is vickers Vickers has a uh, decent. He has twelve for influence. I have set my captains. I promise. Look, it's just that Jan- I'll take Jansen out because he he has got high um, high influence, but obviously isn't much of a, isn't much of a captain. Right, team talk. God, I don't see why we can't get a result here. Right, nobody expects us to get a result. I didn't know that. I didn't realize no one expected us to get a result. Um, Control has not done a great job for us recently, so we're going to switch. We're away, so we're going to start a counter. Going to try that. Um, so yeah, we have changed captain. Thank you, RVX. Sorry, I, I didn't actually get your advice until it was too late. But, but yeah, I have actually, I have actually set my captains. I'm not totally irresponsible, like like you all know me to be. <laughs> I am usually pretty irresponsible, but uh, I have finally got on the right side of that now. So Gilps is back in goal. Uh, Vickers is back in the side in centre mid. Ajnani goes back out to the left with as an inside forward. The Panzer should be bombing down the left. Please don't score here. Great header away from I think that was Molnar. Oh Gilps! Oh my God! With that a goal down again. This is not going very well at all. Gilps made a really good first save, but there's not a lot he can do about that. Cross has come in. Great run. Great header. Ball's just landed right at the feet of their striker. Another goal down. My God. What is happening? That's a good ball through. Come on, Stud. Take a touch, Stud. Oh, oh my God, Stud. What are you doing? Oh. First effort on target. Brilliant. Good save from the keeper. The keeper is down. He's prone. Astudio just hits the car park with his follow-up shot. Astudio, play him in. Oh, the stud's made up for it. <laughs> what a strike from the stud. Okay, fine. I take it all back. He was just practicing for that one. He just needed to find his range. The stud drills an absolute worldie in. That is a thunder bastard if ever I've seen one. What would you say that is? A good 30 yards out. Just pings it into the top corner. What a goal from the stud. Unbelievable. Yeah, the first one was too easy. Exactly, DMAC. What a hit from the stud. Great tackle, Panzer. Come on, boys. Come on. We can do this. We've got it. We've got it in our locker. Go on, Ajnani. Skin them all. Skin them all alive. That's fine. Renfro will get that. That's fine. That's good defending, lads. Very good. Here we go. Go on, Omar. Go on, Omar. Get down that. Referee. Get him in the book. Get him in that book. Max Power, though. We're wearing the kit that you bought. We're in, a, we're in our away kit. We might have worn it for a di- another game. I haven't really been paying attention. Oh, cl- crack open the gin and milk. Exactly. Oh, the Panzer's down. He's still at 96%. We might be okay. We might be okay. Somebody put it out. 
Well done, Renfern. Does Panzer have to come off? Oh, he's been forced off. Okay, well, Steve Jags can play left back. It's not ideal. He is right footed. You're going to go Jags. He can actually play there. Oh, this is. This is. Uh, I don't know whether to keep him on attack. Because he's not really a fullback, I feel like I should give him as little to do as possible. What do we think, chat? <laughs> I love the chat. You've got to use the goal emoji, lads. Goal, goal, goal. Let me use it. I'll, I'll get some in there. Yeah, have some of that. Oh dear. What do we do? Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, we'll just leave it like that for now. Let's not, let's try not to disrupt it too much. I try not to disrupt it too much. Come on, Karoma into the box. Ajnani! Ajnani's off the mark for AFC Rushton. Oh, he's lurking at the back post. Curls Karoma's cross right up into the top corner. Oh, Emery, throw a cloth over that, son. You are done. Throwing in the towel early on in the game. Turned it right around within 15 minutes. Nice cross in from Omar. Ajnani just peels off from the penalty spot. Oh, flicks it up. Emery might actually get a hand on that. Great finish. Have some of that. Yes, Ajnani scored. He scored. He lurked at the back post. Oh, I thought the ref I thought the referee was their goalkeeper there for a second. I got really excited. Vickers is in. Oh, Vickers. Karoma Astadio. Oh, good hit. Come on, we're all over them now. This is so much better. Oh, this is like this is the team I know and love. Hit that Ajnani. He set up Astudio. Oh, it's three! It's three! The stud hits another absolute belter up into the top corner Ajnani a golden assist for him two for Astudio it's 3-1 AFC Rushton what a turnaround all inside 20 minutes it's in there this is more like it Dylan Vickers you see just needed to put little Dylan back in bosh have some of that Astudio has definitely been on the cognac this morning hasn't he he's loving it he is well up for it oh yes Steve Jags, nice, tight. Gilps gets it away. Ah, oh, Haro can't quite win that header. Great tackle, but Wakefield is in. Oh, he's put it wide. He's put it wide. <sighs> Gonna say Gilps put him off. Yes. Get in there. Goals in the chat. That's good stuff from Ajnani. Won another corner. I was gonna say Ajnani might be on corners. He is. Looking for another assist. Big Pete is lurking. Where is he? Is that him? There is he. Yeah, there he is, Big Pete. Get it on Big Pete. Oh, he was in there. There's a good header away. Come on, Vickers. Good stuff, Dylan Vickers. Unlucky, unlucky. Oh, yes. Love the chat. The chat is absolutely loving it. Oh, that's a great ball. Get out there, Gilps. Well done, Gilps. Yes, Janssen would have broken his leg trying to pick that up. Good old Gilps. Never doubted him for a second. That's turned into a good ball for Astadio. If he can get it into the box. Oh, he's found Karoma. Vickers. Oh, Vickers. Good block. Oh, Karoma's still there. That's good. Yes. Come on, boys. We're so much better now. Maybe we, ju we just needed a little rest for a couple of games. Maybe just having Gilps back, get back in goal. Just the confidence, the communication from Gilps out to his outfield players. Just settled them all down. My team talk also made everybody feel relaxed. Which my team talks haven't really been doing anything pre-match recently. Karoma's into the box again. Oh, Vickers just batters that over the bar. Three excellent goals. Yeah, Martin, you're absolutely right. Three phenomenal goals. Superb. Ah, they're, they're being spoil sports and going for short goal kicks. Oh, Big Pete doesn't care. Big Pete will kill them anyway. He'll always find somebody to take down. What a challenge that was from Big Pete. He absolutely destroyed him. <laughs> Go on, Pete, get him again. Love that boy. Absolutely love him. Oh, that's a dangerous cross. Oh, Gilps has pushed it wide for no reason. Could have just had a goal kick. Gilps is like proving his, proving himself, showing why he should be back in the team. I'm 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 not gonna I'm not gonna fault it. I'm not gonna fault Gilps. He was unlucky for their goal. He made a really good point blank save. Molnar just pumps another header away. Oh, Barroso's got to that. Barroso's done well. Oh, I thought he'd drawn a foul, but Karoma's going to get down the line. Oh, Omar. Omar's done well. Oh, he's, has he pulled it back? Oh, the referee's pulled it back for that foul all the way back there. I didn't know they did that, pulled it back so much on this game. 
Astudio's lost out. Oh, win that back. Win it back high. Win it back, win it back. Oh, unlucky. Oh, Steve Jags. Oh, he loves a foul. Steve Jags loves a foul. Don't book him, ref. There's no need. Oh, for goodness sake. So my, my first choice left back is off injured. My second choice left back is now on a booking and out of position when they took that free kick, which doesn't seem very fair. But what can you do? Subs, we're only in 38 minutes. Penner, come on now. Use your brain. Barroso, what a header away. Phenomenal stuff. Don't foul Jags, don't foul Jags. That's good, that's good, that's much better. Oh, Steve, I'm just worried about Steve Jags now. He, the thing about Steve Jags is that he loves a tackle. He absolutely loves a tackle. And when you're on a booking and you're already playing out of position, a tackle isn't... I mean, fair tackle's fine, but a Steve Jags tackle could be a bit dangerous. Could be a bit dangerous. That was such a good comeback. Such a good comeback. Okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. How's everybody doing? Generally fine. Let's just keep it going just for a little bit longer. Not going to disrupt my team while they're playing well. That is how you lose games. If somebody was at 70 or something percent. Oh, come on, ref. If somebody was well into the 70s, then I, would, I might sub them off. But we've already made one sub. I know we've only always got three subs, but I mean, you can only make three. Oh, that's a good ball in. Oh, Wakefield. Love a bit of hero. Ref, what are you... Get control of this game, ref. Come on now. Stay on side, Omar. Oh, Hero's found Vickers edge of the box. Vickers might line one up. Oh, what are you, what are you doing there? <laughs> what are you doing there, lads? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, oh yeah, I probably can set Jags to easy tackling. That's a good point. Yeah, you're quite right. Uh, oh, he's already on. He's already on easy tackling. He's already on it. He's already on it. It doesn't make any difference. He, he loves a tackle far too much to, to listen to me. There's two of them. Astudio and Hero both shutting the ball down in the same position there, which is a bit weird. Might need to do something about that. Oh, Molnai going to need to win that. Oh, he hasn't. Somebody's going to need to... Oh, Big Pete. Well, uh, they, we, we were overloaded on the right there. They they pushed an extra player forward. Big Pete probably had to make that foul. Still looking okay. Get that. Oh, no. Barroso. Another brilliant header away. Big fan of Barroso. He's been superb. He's just been so solid. He's basically not really done anything wrong. He, he's, he missed the tackle in one game that led to a goal, but the guy still had to score off the post and the crossbar. So it's not like he left him with an easy chance or anything. I really like Barroso and uh, Molnar. Hero. Ah, oh, ref. Come on, ref. You need to get control of these thugs. These maniacs. These lunatics trying to hurt my players. Are we all off to Alton Towers after the game? Oh, yes. Absolutely. I think that's a good shout. I think that's a solid shout. Take that, Molnar. Excellent. Oh, Big Pete just puts his body on the line. Of course he does. Wouldn't expect anything less. Chroma, hero. Oh, he's put it through. Oh, the stud. What happened? The stud just never quite got off his haunches. Ah, oh, he's already smoking a cigar and sitting in an easy chair. Ajanani down the line. Oh, he's done brilliantly to dribble. Just skinned his man. Ref, where's my pen? Oh, forget it. I don't want one. Hero makes it four. Mush. Have some of that. Hero was definitely in an offside position, but the defender tackled it into his path and he just pops it into the roof of the net. That's a great goal. Ajin Look at Ajanani. This is what I wanted Ajanani to do from the start. Just run rings around guys out wide. Oh, you know what? Hero isn't offside. I thought he was. But yeah, Leaker statuesque. They probably expected um, a free kick to be given. Okay, right. Vickers can come off now. He's at 79. Oh, no. Well, uh, actually. Oh, yeah. No, hang on. We've just lost a couple down. Right, hang on. Ajinani and Karoma are both down in the 60s, so they are both off. There we go. Glad I waited to make my subs. Uh, Bub can go left. Vickers can go right. Bulk can just sit in defensive midfield. Anchorman. 
Big Pete can just be a supporting ball winning midfielder. There we go. Steve Jags can just defend. That feels good. That's good. Omar, going nowhere. Does well, though. Keep keep knocking it around. Keep knocking it around. That's good. That's good. Oh, hero. Oh, he's found Ajnani wide. Oh, Ajnani. Oh, Ajnani took it too far wide. His first touch took it too far wide. He's won a corner, but he could have, he could have had a goal there. Just a little bit more confidence. Once he's been playing for us for a little bit longer, I reckon he'll just first time on his, on his right foot, just tuck those away, just curl them into the far corner. Oh, what a corner. Swings the corner in. Whoa, what a swinging corner that was. Lovely little bit of whip and dip. Gaff says, I smell another promotion. <laughs> well, you've been right about everything so far, Gaff, so I'll take that. Um, Plumpy Chunk's back in business. Exactly. There we go. We finally made it. Finally made it back. Vickers is on corners now. Oh, Molnar. Molnar nearly got there. Nearly got there. Come on, boys. This is nice. Ah, oh, this is nice and comfortable. I'm going to allow myself to relax, which, as we all know from Champ Manager, usually means that I, we then concede a bunch of goals. We're doing This is fine. Just keep the pressure on. I'm going to sit back and have a sip of water. I might go and get myself a gin and milk to celebrate. If we win 6-1, I'll go and get myself a gin and milk. Uh, finally, our run of corners is over. Chris Donahue, how's the bank balance looking these days? The last time I checked, we had nearly £350,000 in the bank. Thanks to very strong season ticket sales and the, all those pre-season friendlies that we organised. The pre-season friendlies made about 100 k Great tackle from Bolt. Yeah, pre-season friendlies made about 100 k Actually, it was more than 100 because they made 98. And then in... Uh, in oh, bub. <gasps> Come on, ref. This is ridiculous. How many tackles from behind are they going to get away with here? Uh, yeah, we made about 120k from the friendlies and about 150 from the season ticket sales. So money is absolutely fine. Oh, heroin headed away. Oh, Bolt gives somebody a good kicking. Just give him a dead leg. They deserve it. All on red at the Leak Casino. Oh, I wasn't looking. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't looking. I was looking at the chat. But Hero has got me one goal closer to the gin and milk. Oh no! What have I done? <laughs> what have I said? <laughs> oh, is it is it a terrible error from their goalkeeper this time? Oh, Emery, what's he done? <laughs> what's he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? I completely missed it in real time. But Jesus, we thought we had goalkeeping problems. That was something else. That was something else. <laughs> if it's seven or more, it's a double gin. Okay, fine. That was a very, very weird error, wasn't it? That was very weird. Okay. Please don't score. <laughs> I might I might change my tactics. No, I won't change it. I'll leave it. Hero, he's on a hat trick. How much does he want it? Oh, Emery. <laughs> Every time the ball goes near him now, <laughs> we're all going to expect a goal. Big Pete, Barroso. I'm a bit worried. That's our centre-back having shots from there. Oh, the stud. Oh, they've saved it. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a goal kick. Oh, my God. Two players on hat-tricks. Remember I said if we win 6-1, so if they score again, it's all over. Up. Oh no, we're actually playing really well now. I thought because it had gone quiet, which is why I said it. <laughs> oh no, at the stud. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. That's all right. We're getting there. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, the goalkeeper really wants to see it. Bulk. Oh, he's put it in. Vickers is in. <laughs> it's happened. Oh, it's happened. Oh, come on, Leak. I need Leak to score. <laughs> Oh no, what's happened? <laughs> oh no. Bulk wins that. Just puts it back in pretty aimlessly. Vickers takes a wonderful first touch. Oh, that is a really class goal from Vickers. I'd raise a glass to that. What a lovely little touch and goal. Oh no. 
<laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Come on, Leek. Help me out here. Help me out. Yes. Oh! <laughs> I've never wanted our opponents to score more than I do right now. Uh, this, You know that game that we drew? Oh, the game that we lost 1-0. This could have happened in that game. It really could. Go on, Big Pete. Oh, I wanted Big Pete to have a shot. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We need to do something quick. Now that we're, now that we're taking the piss a little bit. Uh, it's penalty takers. Uh, Gilps. Where's Gilps? Gilps on pens. Uh, and uh, Big Pete on pens. There we go. It's obviously going to be Gilps. Oh, dear. I was going to put Gilps on free kick so that he'd be out of position and we might concede. Oh, Molnar. Don't score again, whatever you do. Jesus. <laughs> Come on, Leek. Get me a goal. Save me. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, the, in those last two games that we that we drew, um, I, the, in fact, the one that Ferrell scored in the last minute, we were really bad there. But the game that we just lost 1-0, we could have done this in that game if we'd got our shots on target. We had 10 chances in that game. Barroso does really, really well. Oh, Susan, get the gin, yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, Andy Peaks is going to be pouring me a triple in the dog and duck, isn't he? Jags. Steve Jags could have given a penalty away there, but he didn't. Come on, Steve Jags. Do me a favour. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it regardless. I, even if they score, I'm going to do it. I can't not do it, can I? Imagine. What kind of a host would I be? Hero. Oh, Hero. He's... Oh, Hero. He's glory. He wants the glory. He could have slipped the stud in, but he's on a hat trick. This has been really great from Hero, actually. He's been everywhere. Ah... Uh, if we get a training complex, we'll call it the yeah, we'll call it the gin and milk. Yeah, we definitely will. <laughs> the gin, gin and milk arena. Oh, is that it? The manager work wonders at the break. Do you see that? The manager work wonders at the break. I think we should be pleased that, given how well we played for a supposed underdog, that was really special, lads. Nobody gave us a chance, but you were magnificent. Congratulations. I didn't realise we were such underdogs for that game. Well, I did say. I did say if we win 6-1, I'll have a gin and milk. I've really stitched myself up there, but I will go and get one. I'll go and get one in time for the next game so that I can start you off so you can watch the beginning of the next game rather than just sitting here watching an empty screen. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh, Xander. <laughs> Xander. <laughs> My internet has just gone live. Welcome, Xander. Welcome. You've just missed me promising to do, to drink a gin and milk if we win 6-1, which is exactly what just happened. <laughs> Unbelievable. But that was... I mean, uh, jokes aside, gin and milk aside, that was some game. Oh, the pans is out for two months. But it's okay. We've got, we've got cover. It's actually, we've, actually got, we've actually got cover. Um, hang on. Let's quickly do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely outstanding. Uh, yep. Do you feel I have the upper hand over Leeds Castle when it comes to mind games now? I reckon so, or do I? Ah, see what I did there? Nice. Right, it's right up my alley that one. There's mar there's rumours you're still in the market for another player. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that because that upsets players you've already got. If you say that I'm in, I'm in the market for another defender, and your goalkeeper's like, uh, your defenders go, oh, I don't want to be replaced. You don't want that. Sebastian Hero must be delighted. Ah, oh, he's delighted with my comments. I'm delighted with him. Sebastian Hero, what a start to his Rushton and Diamonds career. Exactly what I hoped he, he would be. Three goals, four assists, seven games. Absolutely excellent. And we are very close to that dishy young attacking midfielder coming in as well. So a very quick... Oh, Jace Turley's back on my list. So a very quick... Oh, Edgar Perez. <gasps> oh, Col Boca Juniors Colombia. Oh, he's got Italian second nationality. Oh, he doesn't want very much money. Edgar Perez, everyone. What do we think about Edgar Perez as a as a backup for um, Big Pete? Because we haven't really, apart from Steve Jags, we haven't really got a decent backup for him. Oh, I don't know. Um, you want to see it poured? Oh, okay. Oh, you could put cinnamon in too if you've got any. Thank you. That is a good suggestion. Um... Why is everybody saying nah? What are you saying nah to? Lick the toilet seat. Is that what you're saying no to? 
If we win 6-1 again, I'll do something else. Um, oh, you're not feeling Perez. Sorry, you're not feeling Perez. Okay, we'll leave Perez. We'll leave him. Um, Emmett Delfonso. Hmm. Let's just quickly see if we've got anybody else that's half decent at something. Long shots? Ooh. <gasps> Lads. Is that the Zeroberto? It must be. Oh no, didn't Zeroberto play for Brazil a few times? We don't need another attacking midfielder, really, do we? He doesn't want very much money, though. 240 a week. Oh, dear. I don't think so. I don't think this is the right answer. I'm just... I'm always tempted by a Brazilian. Or just any South American. I'm always tempted. No, he wasn't a Bayern, so I don't think it is the Zeroberto. I think it's another Zeroberto. That, the Zeroberto that was at Bayern played for Brazil, and this guy hasn't got any caps. So no, if it had been the one that played for Bayern and he had like 40 caps for Brazil, it would be a different story. I'd be well interested in him then. Just have a, just have a quick look and see if there's any half-decent defenders. Who's that? Matthias Malan. Oh, I, I recognise that name. I recognise that name. I feel like Matthias Malan might be one of those players that you should sign. Does anybody else remember this name from playing FM12? I feel like he's one of those players that's got a lot of potential and you should try to... I mean, I can't sign him because I haven't got the money. 110k and his contract isn't expiring. What do we think about Matthias Malan? But not for right now, but for the future. He looks ready-made. And he's only 19. Creativity, 1. Perfect. Dribbling, 1. Absolutely spot on. Aggression, 15. He looks quite good. I'm, I'm sure I've heard of him. I'm sure I've heard of him. He's definitely going on the shortlist. Matthias Malan, 100%. He looks like a bit of a player. Clive Delaney, oh no, I looked at him. I looked at him pre-season, not interested. Basically, if anybody's got a bunch of 10s going across here, I'm having a quick look. Just a little look. There's one as well. Danny, no, 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 no. No more oldies. We don't need any more oldies. We've got enough oldies. Mamadou Koulibaly, no, too old. No, that, that's okay. That's okay. I'll have a quick look for some a legendary goalkeeper, just in case. Just in case Neville Southall is, is available. Alvaro Nunez. Ooh, he's actually quite good. He's actually quite good. But another... I, I'm not sure a 39-year-old Uruguayan is a good idea. He does look quite good, though, doesn't he? Alvaro Nunez. <clears throat> okay. I'll leave Nunez. I tell you what, I'll leave, I'll leave Nunez on as a, as a potential goalkeeper while I go and get the gin and milk. Let me know in the chat what you think of Nunez. Proof. There we go, proof. I'm going to have to pour it off camera because I don't really have a choice. Okay. Actually, no, I guess I can. Just This is going over my laptop. So I just have to be a bit careful. In Spain, whenever you buy spirits, it comes with the pourer on top so that you don't tip loads into your glass by accident. I mean, I obviously still do anyway. So that's the gin. Oh, I forgot the cinnamon. I'm going to go and get the cinnamon. Okay, there we go. Maybe an ice cube. That looks rank. I'm going to go and get some... Oops, sorry. I'm going to go and get some cinnamon to put in it as well. What are we saying about Alvaro Nunez? Only Bill Hupler says no. Everybody else is too interested in my thick, creamy milk. Understandable. because all of our I had a bit of a moment there because all our spices are in Spanish and I didn't know what cinnamon was but it turns out I used the power of smell turns out it was this one 
There we go. A little bit of cinnamon on the top. Sorted. There we go. Right, chat. To a glorious 6-1 victory. Yeah, that is pretty bad. It's not as bad as it could be. I could do with a spoon to stir the cinnamon in. Because it kind of pretty much just tastes like milk. It doesn't really taste like gin. Yeah, okay, we're not going Nunez. Yeah, okay, we're not going Nunez. Yeah, if he was younger, yeah, I agree, if he was younger. But he's, he's a bit past it, isn't he? Uh, oh, Raymond McIntosh. He's only 17, but he's playing for rugby. We don't need any of that. Do not need any anybody from rugby coming in here as a sleeper agent after we destroyed them a couple of times last season. Now I don't know about I don't know about the goalkeepers. It doesn't look like still Nunez again is the one that stands out. Maros Felton there. Now we'll just we'll be okay. We'll stick with Gilps and uh, and and uh, and Big Dick Jansen. Jansen just needs a few games off. This is this is. Hmm. Uh... Salut is right. A bit past it. Was he even born when Claridge turned pro? <laughs> Claridge was six years old when that man was born. Steve Claridge. He might maybe even seven. Steve Claridge is probably... Yeah, he must be 46 now, Steve Claridge, if he's still going. Bale, is there a player called Miguel Pablo? That is a good question. I bet there's... I bet there are players that have got Miguel and Pablo in their names. They might not be called that. Let's have a quick look. There's somebody called Juanpa. 33-year-old centre-back. Juan Pablo de Miguel, not bad. Probably never going to sign him. I mean, I probably would sign him if he was on a free transfer. Well, we'll get him on the short list. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get him just yet, but his contract's up at the end of the season. We'll try and get him at the end. Right, we're going to we're going to move on now that I've got my delicious drink to keep me going. Oh, he's actually yeah, yeah. Good good suggestion there, Penner. Good suggestion. Yeah, he's not interested at the moment. That's a shame. He's he's got good scouting there. That's good. That's what I like to see. Oh, guys, this is um thank you for this. Thank you. Thank you. I'm I'm glad we could do this together. Hmm. <laughs> it's going to really set me up for the rest of my day. Um Ah, uh, full fat milk, nothing less. Yeah, yeah. I actually bought we had skim milk before. But the, again, the only reason I bought that was because I went to the shop and I was faced with three options. A green one, a red one, and a blue one. And I didn't know which was which. I, I, I realised as I was staring at the milk that I didn't have um, any idea which was which. was which. And none of the Spanish on there that I understood gave any indication. And I was in a hurry. I already had my hands full with, with groceries because just because our local store doesn't have baskets you just have to sort of grab everything and of course I was trying to get out of there as quickly as possible so I I chose green because in the UK green is semi-skimmed red is skim and uh blue is full fat and I got it home and said to Sam I got this milk I don't know what it says she said you got skim milk moron moron but I was usually I would have looked it up or I would have taken my time but I had no time and I had no hands so I had to just you know just claw the first one, I, the, the, the colour that I thought was the right one. It was also in the middle, which is really misleading. You know, the full fat was, it was full fat, skim, and then semi-skim. So, semi-skim is red in Spain for any of you that come to Spain and decide to get a little carton of milk for the week. Chris Johns, oh, he's that young keeper, that's good. Hmm. I've got to say, the cinnamon does actually give it a little bit of, uh, a little bit of something. Definitely helps. A little cinnamon swirl. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. I can't tip it because I'll tip it all over my keyboard. Fans delighted at John's prospect. Excellent. That's good. He can just go into the under-18s. Okay, how long till Cesar is back? Oh, only out for one more day. But then he's he's lost all of his match, fitnesses, uh, match fitness because he's been out for so long. I'm already slurring, you see. This is what you've all done to me. Oh, be up the mic. Any, oh, yeah, any chance checking we've got a cup game? Um, yeah, I will have a look. Bale, are you making an effort to learn Spanish? Uh, I, I, I mean, I am. My Spanish is actually quite good. It's just that I didn't know the words for sim, skim, semi-skim. They actually use different words here for it as well. Oh, Ryan McGreevy's gone. Ryan McGreevy. I, I just don't, I don't see that teams are going in for my players. 
Oh, well, he's gone to the Southern Premier. That's okay. We weren't going to use him anyway, and he's not going to hurt me. It's fine. Nobody else has wanted... I really need to keep a closer eye on that, though, because somebody could just nick a player that's actually quite important to me. I'm not very good at keeping an eye on it. Um, yeah, I have been making an effort to learn Spanish. My, he was... DMAC, he was non-contract. Yeah, he was non-contract. Um, I've tried to tie... The players that I've got who are on non-contract terms that I don't want to lose, I've tried to give them permanent contracts, but they won't accept them. They only want non-contracts, so I don't really have much choice. Um... Yeah, vocabulary and grammar are very... So, yeah, with the... Uh, oh, I forgot to check the cups. I'll, I'll check the cups. Oh, B. Hupler, you legend, Bill. Thank you so much for subscribing. Oh, I really, really appreciate it. That's just that's absolutely made my day. Thank you so much. Two subscriptions today from Bill and from Mr. Hamtown, who sadly hasn't been in the chat, but I love that name. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been making an effort to try and learn uh, in my own time, but not... I haven't been, like, taking classes or anything. I just sort of use apps to try and pick up a few more words um susan and i tam and i uh watch some shows we watch some shows in spanish sometimes we watch shows in english with spanish subtitles so we, we do a little bit i haven't been doing a lot of massively active learning um but you pick you pick up so much from going out and talking to people all of our friends here are all spanish um so we, we we speak exclusively in spanish when we go out my spanish is fine i just get caught out every now and again uh, and that was that was one of them. That was a moment where just with the milk. It was a bit of a pain. Duolingo is good. Duolingo is quite useful. You just have to... It's not... I think the thing about Duolingo is it's, it's ordered a little bit illogically. It doesn't really make sense. You know, it doesn't start you off with things that are actually helpful straight out. You know, when you first move to a country, um, you kind of want to... You know, the FA Cup has been drawn the second qualifying round. And... We don't. I haven't heard anything. There's nothing in our fixtures about it. I feel like is the northern. Are there any? Oh, actually, are there any northern Premier teams? Oh yeah, northern Premier Premier. We're just not in the. We're just not in the FA Cup. I wonder why that is. It must be because I created us as a new team. But we, we can't keep not being in the FA Cup. So I'll have to I'll have to take a look at this. It looks like we're not in the FA Cup. Um again. But we might I don't know, we may come in at the second or the third qualifying round possibly. But we uh, it looks like we ought to be in it at this round, so I'm not sure. Weird weird one. Yeah, B uh sorry, D Mac, you're right. Um uh, Duolingo makes you learn words like zoo and Ferris wheel. Exactly. It's a little bit illogical. Like when you land somewhere, you want to learn, you know, just the, start with the basics. Because, um, you know, it'll start you out and say, OK, this is how you say man. This is how you say woman. This is how you say child. It's like I need to I need to know how to order a glass of wine. That's obviously the first thing I do when I land. You know, I, I know how to say, hey, man. And then how do you order wine? Of course, obviously, I know how to say that. Um, oh, La Paglia's back. That's good. That's good. La Paglia's back. Reserves have lost, don't care. Let's just keep plowing through here. I need to pay a little bit more attention to when it says somebody's bid for somebody, because some of them are my players. Um, yeah, B Bill, thank you so much. Um, uh, the best way to learn is being socially... Yeah, exactly. So we, we've got friends that we've made here, luckily for us, who are Spanish. They're from Valencia, and they are all prepared to speak to us exclusively in Spanish. A couple of them do speak English, so that when... Tam speaks a, a superb Spanish already. She's been actively learning Spanish for 10 years. Uh, so her Spanish is really excellent. So I tend to fall back on her when I can't, when I don't know what to say. But my Spanish is good enough that people don't lose interest in talking to me. I manage to hold people's attention, which is which is the main thing. Because, you know, when you meet somebody who's trying to speak your language, but they're doing it really badly, if a lot of people after a while are just like, I just want to get away from you. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I've been quite lucky that hasn't really happened to me yet. Um, uh, DMC12 are you counted as a new team yeah well we are a, we are a completely new team I, I created AFC Rustin from scratch there was no they didn't exist before I got into the editor and created them so that is why we're not in the FA Cup I'm sure of it I just don't know why because there are other teams in our league that are in the qualifying round so why aren't we uh, last season I understood it but I thought this season it might have reset and put us in so I still feel, I still feel like there's a chance Oh, Twerno, 
Mate, what is... I can't, you guys, you're killing me today. Twerno, thank you so much. You're so kind, all of you. Twerno, thank you so much for your subscription. That is really, really good of you. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, we're counted as a new team. Uh, oh, I'm, just my heart. My heart is so full. Thank you. Um, oh, that, I just saw Trevor Mutero. We have to have a look at him. Trevor Mutero on one of the FMs is an absolute speedster playing down the flanks. I need to have a look at him. Um, yes. Yeah, Star Child Luke. <clears throat> Good point, Luke. For anyone with Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever, putting foreign subtitles on your favourite shows can help. Yeah, the the foreign... Tuano, you uh, legend, thank you. Um, putting foreign subtitles on does help if you speak... But you need to speak a little bit of the language already, I think, in order. Uh, just a little bit, but that does help. For us, what we find is that we watch we watch Spanish shows, so they're not, they're not dubbed into Spanish. They're actually Spanish shows. Um... Uh, the gaff, you are still live. What do you mean? You're what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm still live. I know I'm still live. We're only two hours in, gaff. We, this is a three hour stream. You confused me a bit there. Um, yeah, for, for us, watching shows that are actually Spanish, so there's a Spanish sitcom that we found. Uh, we've only watched one episode of it so far, but it's like a, it's a classic superhero type thing where you know a, a bunch of ordinary people, one of the guys in the in the this little group of friends finds a super suit that comes down from space and he becomes a superhero, but he's trying to keep it under wraps. It's very silly. It's, it's a stupid comedy, but it's it's originally in Spanish. <clears throat> Watching that with Spanish subtitles is really good because they speak very very quickly and very, uh, they use a lot of slang. That w if we're watching it without the subtitles, it just hits you like machine gun fire. <clears throat> but watching it with subtitles, you realise you're like, oh, that's what that that's what they were just saying. Oh, I see. And you, you, you start to learn slang, which is also very helpful, because even when your Spanish is quite basic, there's a lot of players have been released here. We might have a quick look at a couple of them. Um, oh, no, these are all. Oh, no, these are all the Americans. And these are all. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to bother. They're all the Americans that won't have second nationalities and will never get them. Yeah, forget it. Yeah, learning a little bit of slang is is very useful when you're talking to people in, in whatever city you're in. If you learn a little bit of local slang, even if your Spanish isn't that strong like mine, if I say something that is a local slang, people go, hey, how do you know that? Because, of course, when I first meet people, they assume that I'm, I don't live here. They assume I'm a tourist or I'm visiting or I'm, you know, yeah, they assume I'm a tourist or I'm a student. That's the other thing. People think you're here as a student because most people who look like me um, you know, white as the day is long. Um, I don't look Spanish at all as much as I'd love to. They know that I'm not Spanish, so they assume I'm a student or something. And so when I use a local slang, um, then people are more interested in talking to you because then they want to know your story and then you've got a reason to talk to them. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I watched Blackadder with Russian subtitles. I learned cunning, but nothing more. There is quite a lot of cunning in, in Blackadder. God, I love that show. I've been trying to get Tam to watch it. She's not interested. I've done my best. Oh, Tonton. Tonton Zola Makoka has decided to retire from football at the age of 28. Tonton. I wish he carried on. I could have had him. Oh, that is such a shame. That is such a shame. Oh, well. To share. I didn't get all of these notifications the last time a bunch of players retired. I definitely wouldn't have missed Andrea Zola retiring. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, no, Gaff. No, no, no. We're still on for at least another hour, mate. We're still on for at least another hour. Oh, by the way, everybody, while you're all here, I'm not going to be able to stream tomorrow. Sorry, we're going to have to take tomorrow off uh, because I've got a big work project that I need to work on one day this week. And also Tam has got a couple of uh, video calls that she needs to do that would that would coincide it would interrupt the stream or they'd be around this time anyway so i'm going to take tomorrow off but i'll make up for it by doing a weekend day um you guys can choose which one you prefer in the chat i'm uh, apparently i can do polls but i haven't quite worked out how to do that yet oh guys it's a huge day it's a huge day a landmark day in the history of afc rushton and diamonds vincenzo bernardo is here oh god be still my beating heart look at the state of this kid my goodness I'm going to try and move him into my spare room if I can. He is gorgeous. And he's here. Uh, who else we got? Um, DMC12. I use Club de Huervos on Netflix to help my Spanish. As it's about football, it helps with content. Oh, I'll, I'll have to look that up. I'll have to look that up. Tam and I were going to start watching the Sunderland documentary, Sunderland Till I Die. 
um, on Netflix tonight, but maybe we should watch that one instead. That's quite a good, that's a good suggestion. Do you recommend, I assume you recommend it. Uh, yeah, I have to do these, do a quick press conference. Yep, uh, yep. Uh, no, we feel, we're glad of the rest. We're glad of the rest and we feel invigorated by it. So this is, this is good. We played well last time. Dylan Vickers did so well centre mid, but I have got to get Vincenzo Bernardo in somehow. Maybe he just comes back to the bench. La Paglia's at 91%. He needs some match fitness. How's Bernardo? Does he need match fitness? Oh, yeah, they both need a little bit of match fitness. Okay, what do we think, guys? What do we think? Uh, who comes out from that 6-1 win? Or do we just keep... I mean, obviously, so the Panzer has to come out. But we've got uh, Mitchell Van Laar, who's basically made for that wing-back role. In fact, we're going to make him a wing-back. Mitchell Van Laar is just built to play there. Look at his positions. He's he's Yeah, he's a natural. So he's fine. Um... How long have I lived in Spain? Uh, I moved here. Oh, I moved to. We moved to. I moved to Seville. Let me start again. I moved to Seville on July the first last year. Uh, so nine months, nine months, just almost. Oh, to the day, nine months today. So yeah, uh, yeah. I think Bub comes off the bench. La Paglia goes on. I want Bernardo in the team. Um, Sutti says wouldn't change a winning team. To be honest, he plays attacking midfield for Bernardo or or all the way up front, but. We're not dropping. Uh, we're obviously not dropping Astadio. Uh, everybody's in good condition. Do we just go for a super attacking bench and just do that? S just to have Jags, Bernardo, and Lapaglia. Oh, Tuerno, you did. You did. You missed some serious football. You missed some serious football. Um, yeah, Club de Cuervos, DMC12. Thanks for that. Feel the burn. Exactly. Okay, so Okay, I'm gonna just go with this. I think this is I think this is gonna be good. It's a very, very attacking bench. But uh you know I'm just saving it quickly because I don't remember the last time I saw it save and I, I just I like to save uh when I feel nervous. Um I got into the habit at one point. Oh god, the gin has really come through on that now. <coughs> oh <laughs> what you might you can't see it. But what's happening here is that the the milk and the gin have not mixed. Well, I mean, they they sort of have, but the gin is still very much it, the gin's heavier and it's sitting on the bottom a little bit, and the 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 um the cinnamon has not mixed at all. It's just sitting on the top. So the cinnamon is going down my throat as a powder and making me cough. Then the milk is kind of washing that away, and I go ah, and then the gin hits me, and I go. Ugh. So it's becoming it's becoming disgusting now. I hope you're all happy with yourselves. All right, here we go. Hmm. Oh, the game's tomorrow. The game's tomorrow. Okay. That'll that'll be why that'll be why that didn't work. Yeah, we got to have a press conference conference for Vincenzo. Delighted to be able to welcome into the club. Great respect. Um, no, there's no 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 no. Finances are fine. Confidence. It will be a massive boost to the whole team. Uh, I'm going to say he. Ho I hope he can make a big contribution. No comment about tactics because that annoys people. Bernardo has often been linked with bigger teams than AFC Rushton. No, no, we, no. Um, this, this is this is the sort of thing that could annoy players if you say the wrong thing. So I'm going to just no comment that into next week. He's a magnificent capture, though. I'm not talking about my transfer policy. I'm not talking about that. There we go. Fine. That should be fine. Uh, sorry, boys. Yeah, Jags, exactly. Jags can cover anywhere off the bench. Chris Donahue, that's the right attitude. Ignoring possible defensive injuries, which of course we will do. Attackers are more likely to change the game from the bench. Agreed. Um, DMC12, it's Mexican Spanish. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Mexican Spanish is not too dissimilar to the Spanish they speak here. And actually, so it's funny because some Spanish collo uh, Mexican Spanish colloquialisms, they just don't know them here, which is quite funny. Um cool okay thanks that's a good that's a good suggestion thanks dmc12 i'll let, we'll, we'll look that up club de cuervos i'm gonna quickly uh copy and paste that somewhere so that i remember it might just text it to tam um yeah can you extend the rg defenders contract oh good question 18th signing this window is that what it said whoops well what can i what can i say i'm a maverick uh tam i'm gonna just quickly text the club de cuervos on Netflix recommended from the chat there you go the chat the chat 
Welcome to my real life. <laughs> I've just, you're included in my real life, life now, all of you. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Yeah, hopefully we do enjoy it. I'm sure we will. We, I, we do love a documentary. We just finished Tiger King. My God, that show. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, the RG Defenders contract. Ezekiel Barroso. I've only just signed him, so... See, he wants non-contracts. I'll try and give him part-time. We'll try and we'll try and give him some money. Uh, contract length. Why can't I? Oh dear. We'll do rotation. See, it won't it won't let me. Um, I, I, I can't even give him a contract. I, I just can't do it. It's just impossible. So no is the answer. Sorry. Um, yeah, overhauls in the lower league, yeah. Well, I mean, we desperately needed cover. And the other thing that you'll notice is that we do still have a lot of our players remaining from last season. I mean, I know that Gilpin's only just come back, but we've we've still got Gilpin, Molnar, Vickers, uh, Big Pete, Coroma, Astudio. Then we've got on the bench, we've got Jags. It's all the you know, players that have played this season, Byron's played, um, Craig Ferros has played. So we've we've still kept the core of the of the side from last season, but we our depth last season was shocking. It was really shocking. Right, we're going for this. Attacking players from the bench is a good idea because if we're winning and a defender gets injured, it doesn't really matter. If we're losing and a defender gets injured, then we just have to go more attacking. Oh dear, hang on a minute. I don't like the look of him, Jordan Hibbert, or he look no he look, him against Big Pete is going to be a, it's going to be a battle, isn't it? Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Right here we go. Whoops, I messed that up. Okay, opposition instructions. Pep has done brilliantly on the old opposition instructions. Player instructions. Ajnani, right back. Uh, Karoma, left back. Team talk. Gentle encouragement. Go out there and enjoy yourselves. Seems relaxed. Chase town. No idea where they are in the league. Let's go attacking. Let's go and give them a good smashing. Right, here we go, lads. Here we go. Here we go. AFC Rushton versus Chase Town after that tremendous 6-1 win. If we win 6-1 again, I'll... I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. No one suggested anything, so I think I'm off the hook. Ajnani just skins everyone. Oh, Ajnani! Oh! <laughs> oh, Ajnani. That's what I want to see from him. Just come inside, skin everybody, shoot for the top corner. Perfect. Get him. Ah. Oh. We had a, we had a potentially a really good counter attack on there. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Bale. The reason that there's two promotions and four relegation places is because there's um, six leagues in the tier below. It's the same as the real uh, as the actual tiers. That this is how it works. So there are three leagues at this level. The regional Premier divisions. There are three of them. Six teams in total go up. Ooh. But um, but four teams have to go down because there are six divisions below this tier. So we have that, or, you know, the it's not one to one to one to one. It's the, 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 the pyramid really, it, that's why they call it a pyramid because it really flattens out at the bottom. So yeah, there's a lot of, oh, Vickers is injured. Well, that's okay. Vickers is injured. Um, Bernardo or La Paglia team? Bernardo or La Paglia? Six one and do the next match in just Spanish. God, I couldn't. I actually, I don't think I could. Okay, one vote for La Paglia, one vote for Bernardo. La Pags, Bernardo. Oh, it's still two two. It's two two. Bale, Matt Latissier. Shit, is but was Matt Latissier playing for them? Is that why you're saying it? Or are you just saying something else? Oh God, it's so it's really torn in the chat. Lapaglia has got one. Has it no one, two, three for Lapags? Oh no, four for Lapags. Oh my god, it's even. Four for La oh five for Pags. Pags is winning by one. Anybody else? Pags is uh, Pags is up by two. It looks like Lapaglia. Yeah, okay, Pags is in. That'll do. Back, Pags is in for Vickers. Drop Perot back, obviously. Perot has to play there. Get the RG connection in. Here we go. Bit of South American connection. 
Let's see how we get on now at Lepaglia. Honestly, we lost Lepaglia after I think two goals. Look at how good he is. Look at how good Lepaglia is. Immediate assist. Brilliant. What a brilliant through ball from Lepaglia. Calm, easy finish from Astudio. He's a lot calmer today. He's obviously had something different before the game this time. Last time he'd obviously just necked a load of... It probably was Jager bombs because he was just jittering. Look at that ball through from Lepaglia. What I was about to say was before he got injured, Lepaglia's passing around the box was just... Mwah. It was like Salt Bay. It was just the most wonderful thing. And immediately, immediately, what a goal. 1-0 to your mighty diamonds. Bernardo would have two assists by now. All right, Bale. We'll find out maybe next game. Maybe later in this game. Who knows? Lepaglia is on after 11 minutes with no match fitness, so he might not actually make it to the end. The other thing is that if Astudio gets, gets a knock, Bernardo comes on and I think we go strikerless. Love strikerless. Shouted Pogs before the goal. Le yeah, push enemy. Exactly. Get that away. Oh, Gilps, good save. Ooh. Good save. I mean, it was straight at him, but again. After some of the goalkeeping howlers we've seen, not just this season, last season too. I mean, Gilps is not immune from criticism. They've won 80% of their headers, and we've only won 42%. Okay, hang on a minute. They're on us a little bit here. I might just, just take it back to control. Good block. Get that, Hero. Hero, what are you doing? Oh, Ajnani with the overhead clearance. Lovely. I don't know what Hero was thinking. He just put them through. He just gave them a lovely through ball. Go and take that. Who's that? It must be, yeah, Big Pete. Take him out, Big Pete. Oh, that's fine. Lapags is there. Out we go. That is just a wild clearance. Oh, Karoma's done well. <laughs> Karoma was definitely just running that ball out of play. Wins a free kick off Russell. Nice. Oh, dearie me. This is nearly... Thank God this is nearly over. Here we go. Oh, Hero. Just chuck it in the box. Van La. I don't know what he's doing over there. Oh, Hero. Ah, oh, nice clearance. Gilps now. Gilps. There we go. Good boy. There we go. I have no more of your nonsense. Come on, boys. Pretty good start, but I'm not that happy about how much of the ball they're getting. Oh, that's not good. Where's my left? Who Renfrew, what are you doing there? Oh, <laughs> Barroso. <laughs> what a clearance. I don't think that was going in, but he could have easily just shouldered that into his own goal. Jesus Christ, he gave me a heart attack. <sighs> We're still in this. Yeah, they're kind of clinging on a little bit. Oh, strike. Oh. They are winning the ball from corners. Look at this down here, though. It looks like we're, this is the thing about this bar down here. It is just genuinely meaningless. It looks good for us. It looks like we're all over them from the bar down the bottom. But all, all I'm seeing is that they've got the ball. Ah, oh, Aznani's given a free kick away. Going to get a pretty pointless booking. You get booked for everything. Yeah, great. Exactly. Love a diving header. Get that. Ooh, good header again. They have five across midfield, do they? I didn't see that. I didn't look at their formation. Oh yeah, so they do. Maybe I should put our defensive line a little bit higher. Ah! A row with a, no, another pointless foul and a pointless yellow. That's fine, just leave it. Maybe I should um, squeeze my defensive line up a little bit. Hang on, let's have a quick look at there. If I actually did any research into the other into other teams, it would probably help us, but... Okay. Okay, he doesn't have pace. Their striker doesn't have pace, so... Oops. So we can afford to... We can afford to... push our defensive line up so that they aren't playing around with the ball with their five-man midfield right in front of us. Just squeeze them up a little bit. Yep, squeeze them, exactly. Chuckle Brilliant, squeeze them, exactly. Squeeze them right up. Take him out, the Pags. What a challenge. Oh, Hero, no, 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 ref. No, ref, no, ref. No, no, no. Why must you do this to me? Uh, 
Uh, idiot. Idiot, idiot, idiot. Okay, well, we're going to go Ajnani, attacking midfield, playmaker. Here we go. I'm going for it. We're going fully asymmetrical. Oh dear. Oh, Gilps. Cool. Forget this. Hang on a minute. Forget this. Here we go. Here we go. Everything's under control. Oh, maybe not. Gilps. Oh, Gilps has done brilliantly there. Oh, dear. Okay, that's fine. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Karoma, Omar Karoma is not playing well, so he is definitely a uh, candidate to come off. I'm going to just calmly say things are going fine. Keep it up. Everyone's delighted. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Let's just sort my hair out. Right. Good block, Lepags. <laughs> Keeperless. <laughs> we'll keep, we're, we're okay for now. I'm leaving it like that for now. Oh, I mean, the, really, it's, it's, it's headers from set pieces that they're causing us problems with. It's not um, open play. It's only set pieces that we have a problem from. I mean, they've got the ball a lot around around our box, but they're not actually doing anything with it. And they're not outplaying us in particular, I wouldn't say. They're mainly getting efforts on target from corners. Come on, Lepag, somebody make it 2. If we make it 2-0, then I'll shut it down a little bit. Oh, Big Pete was right in there. Ajnani, have a go. Oh, I should have had a hit. Barroso, don't lose it, Barroso. This is my centre-back for anybody just tuning in. Ah, oh, he's done really well, actually. Big Pete, can he find someone? Sort of. He's gone Renfrum. Renfrum's got absolutely no skill. Oh, he's done well to win a free kick. Excellent. This is fine. This is fine. This is all right. This is going fine. Nothing to worry about. No need to panic. No need to panic. We'll just take our left winger off. Move him into centre mid. You know, our left winger isn't really doing that much anyway. We'll play around with the ball in midfield. And if we can get... Oh, oh, oh. If we can get Van Laar. If he can get down the line as a wing back. He's at 75% because he's having to do the work of two people. Open play was only a problem when Bobby was in goal. Exactly. Oh, Ajnani Lepags. Oh, bounces off of two people. Oh, that could have been the one. We we'll, see we we we'll look we we'll look all right from open play. There's no need to panic. Just ditch the left winger. We don't need him. Oh, Karoma in. Oh, that was a great ball in. That was a lovely ball in. Barroso, what a cut! Brilliant defending. I really like Barroso. Such a calm player. Go on, Omar. Go on, Omar. Go on, son. Get down that line. Get down that line. Great ball in. Oh, Estadio. <laughs> it's another absolute raker over the top this time. We're doing we're doing well. We're doing well with 10 men. Look at them. We're all over them. Lepag's in. Cleared. Somebody get on the end of that. Ah, oh, Big Pete's taking somebody out. Uh, a bit concerned about a second red. Ajnani and Big Pete now. Adni. Both on both on yellows, Burrow, so brilliant header away again. Go on, Omar. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, Chris John Don Chris Donahue switched the counter. I don't know if you saw, I already did that. We're fine. We're okay at the moment. I'm gonna to need to make a sub in a minute because people are starting to get tired. But we have only got ten minutes, so you've got to expect tiredness. Ah, oh, Chroma, go on. Ah, oh, Chroma's shot. Oh, it's come off! Oh, Astudio was right there. Oh, I would I would argue that we're playing better with 10 men. Maybe we should start with 10. It's, it's, a, it's worth thinking about. Right, I'm going to make another substitution after this highlight. The thing is, I don't want to change it when we're playing well. Omar into the box. Oh, he's put it across. Oh, could have gone anywhere. Goes out for a corner. Yeah, changing the team when we're playing well always feels like a mistake. I'm going to take Ajnani off and put Steve Jags on in centre mid because Ajnani's a little bit tired. Oh, Molnar flicks on. Nobody's there, but we've still got it. Come on, lads. Well, that's Nani into the box. Oh, I can't find anyone. Lepax is going to get wiped out. Yeah, I'm glad he's still on his on his feet. I thought he was going to get killed there. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down. Renfrum, brilliant. Oh, what defending from Renfrum. 
absolutely excellent. Oh, and Lepags has found himself in. Lepags is through, lob him. Oh, Lepags has scored his first goal. What a finish from Lepaglia. Cesar Lepaglia's first goal for the mighty AFC Rustin and Diamonds on the counter attack. Who would have thought he would be the breakaway goal scorer? But he is. What a great goal over the top. Chests it down into his path. He took a few too many touches here. I thought he'd, I thought he'd taken it too long. Or taken too long. No problem. Just clips it in. And now it's substitutions time. See? See, you've got to trust me. You've got to trust the gaffer. Oh, no, that was the wrong one. You've got to trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've played this game before. Van Laar could really do with coming off. But I just don't have anybody to really replace him. I mean, Steve Jags could play left wing back, I suppose. We could do that, actually, yeah. How about, how about Steve Jags goes left wing back, but goes wing back defend. Or just, yeah, defend. And then we'll bring on Bernardo for Ajnani because he's a bit tired. There we go. Lepaglia can sit in. Bernardo can go attack in the field. He can go support. Actually, Lepags, maybe Lepags can go deep line playmaker rather than advanced playmaker because this is we're going fine. There we go. That's that feels like a good that feels like a good idea. Yeah, great goal. Chat, chat's loving it. Chat is absolutely loving it. You should be loving it, guys, to be honest, because that was a cracking finish. Oh, another great ball into the box. Oh, Adeni oh Bernardo. He really he's he's gonna want his first sight of goal, isn't he, Bernardo? Box it, Omar. Box it. Oh, Renfermin Bernardo scores on his debut! What a header from Vincenzo Bernardo! Oh, swoon! Oh, how can I contain myself? What a brilliant header from Bernardo. Ten men. Bossed it. Absolutely bossed it. We've been so much better since we lost Hero. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Renfirm into the box. Bernardo just peels off. Bosh. Instant hero. The dog and duck go wild. Look at that. Instant legend. Exactly. RVX. Legend already. Superb. The Pags is just through again. Oh, it takes two of them. It takes two of them to take him out. Look at that. Ooh, the pack. Oh, that was a good corner. Bernardo. Oh, great turn. Finds Pete. Oh, my God. I'm so happy with this team. Can you even believe it? Ooh, that, oh, that's, no, he's not going to get to that. I mean, Hero is going to be suspended now. But we can just drop the Paglia into centre mid and just play Bernardo in attacking mid. What a, what a performance. Look at that. What, what can you say about that? What can you say about that? Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. That was stupendous. Bradford Park Avenue are just bossing it at the top of the league, but we're right behind them. Just three points off them now. Lapaglia came on, remember? Lapaglia didn't start. Goal, assist, man of the match. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Is that four Argentinians in the team now, DMAC? I think it's only three. Barroso, Lapaglia, and uh, the stud. I think it's just those three. If you if you if, if you're talking about Vincenzo, he's a it's Italian Ameri he's American Italian dual nationality. Absolutely excellent result. Absolutely excellent. What can you say about that? We're gonna give him a warning. Accept his warning. Good lad. Good lad. Excellent. 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 Dylan Vickers. Oh, five to six weeks. Oh no, three to four weeks on physio. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. We've got the squad. This is why we got the big squad. We've got the squad for it now. Go to the press conference. We were excellent. Yeah, it's vital. He was simply faultless. Oh, I just don't want to rush him. I just don't want to rush him. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, he's, he'll be back in the squad. Yeah, he'll be back. He will be back. Let's face it. He will be back. We should, we should support our players that get sent off, even if they're idiots. We should support them. Yes. Superb. What a what a result. So her, Oh, so Vickers is out. Hero is out. But that's okay, because Lapags comes into centre mid. Bernardo goes in behind Astudio. Oh my god. Just just pure sex this team. Just so sexy. I don't even know what to do with myself. Bolt can go back onto the bench. Jags definitely stays on the bench and I think Ferrells or maybe Bub. I think I'll put Byron back on the bench. Do love Byron. And 
Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, Hales. Oh, Barry Hales is retiring at the end of the season. That's okay. We were going to sign a new striker at the end of the season anyway. And we've signed this kid. I don't know why it took him so long to arrive. He's just a youth player. Oh, it's because he had to turn 18. Ah, uh, it's because we couldn't sign him before his 18th birthday. Well, he's going straight into the under-18s anyway. I only signed him as a youth player, and I tried to cancel it because I realised he wasn't very good. Vincenzo will be sowing his oats in Wellingborough tonight. Oh my god, Vincenzo and Steve Jags as wingmen. Can you even imagine if you were the, the two young ladies, I assume ladies, can you imagine if you were the two young ladies that bumped into them in the pub? Oh my god. Oh, you would just, you would just be beside yourself, wouldn't you? If you just, you would just decide to just go out on the pool one night. Let's just go down on the, down the dog and duck for a couple of quick shandies before we head off to Fingers or whatever the name of the club is in Wellingborough. And you bump into Vincenzo and Steve Jags at the bar. Oh God, you'd never see the outside of that bar. You'd be in there all night long. We haven't, yeah, we haven't had a backroom advice meeting for quite a while. They're all, somebody's always unhappy about their training workload. It's just because their intensity is too high and I'm tired of it. I just turn their intensity down. Oh, Gary Lowe. Gary Lowe. I like Hyde United. I like Hyde. Hyde were one of the teams that I um, took to the Premier League on an old version of FM or Champ. I can't remember which one. But I'm not happy about those comments. It has been suggested you will adopt a defensive approach in order to avoid defeat in this game. Is that true? Not at all. We'll go out there and smash them from the opening whistle. Yep. No, I'm not. No, no way. No comment. Oh, this is a midweek fixture. Oh, dear. I know my squad and they'll be just fine. Um, the fans have been brilliant. And I know Rodrigo wants to thank them all for their support. What time are we on? Oh, we're only on two. We're, we're fine. Um, he's been fantastic recently. There we go. That'll, that'll cheer him up. That'll G him up. Okay, here we go. I'm feeling pregnant thinking about it. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, of course, the dog and duck is the D&D, &D, and that's what anybody who bumps into those two are going to get. You're going to get the double D. My mate lived in Hyde. Harold Shipman was his doctor. Oh God. Oh God, that is awful. Right, I'm going to need to go and use the facilities when we start this next game. So everybody just... You know what I'm saying. Everybody just pull together every little bit of positivity you've got for the team. I feel pretty good about it. It's a shame to have lost Hero. Um and we obviously don't have the Panzer. He's out for a little while. But um Van Laar didn't do anything wrong. I barely saw Van Laar in the commentary. Well, that's gone by the way. Finish that. Barely saw Van Laar in the commentary, so he can't have done anything wrong. He completely owned the entire left flank after we went a man down. Oh John Rooney signed a new contract. That's disappointing. I wanted him. Oh, well, well, we'll get him next time. At some point, one of these days... Oh, Alton Thelwell's still on the free. Oh, he would come in on non-contract terms now. Alton Thelwell, former Spurs... Gaff, former Spurs centre-back. Not good, though, is he? Let's face it, he is terrible. 32, still hasn't got 10s for hardly anything. Nah, we're good. He's peaked. Okay, here we go. I don't know what you were talking about in the chat. I'll just leave you to it. We're going to go through. We're going to go through to Hyde. So this is the team. I think this is pretty good. I think this looks pretty good. Van Laar, left wing back. Ajnani, inside forward. Lepag, centre mid. Bernardo ahead of him. The stud up top. Kroma on the right. Renfram's done okay right back. I, I feel like I'd like a more versatile right back, but Renfram certainly kicks people's heads in, which is fine for me. Barroso has been a, just a revelation at centre half alongside Molnar. This is a good team. Yeah, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bobby, I mean, Gil Gilps has done really well, hasn't he? Oh, no, is that... Oh, Foster, no, I think it's Nicky Forster. I was going to get excited. He's a former Brentford striker. Must be about 800 years old by now. Uh, okay. There's Nani. Uh, mark that right back. Karoma, mark that left back. Right, lads. I'm going to team talk it for you, and then you're in charge. Go out there and enjoy yourselves today. Seem relaxed. We're... We're not going to start on counter. We're going to start on attacking. Why not? I'm going to leave you guys on attacking. I said I would do attacking. So let's do it. Right. I'm going to be back in just a minute. You guys are in charge for the first probably 20 minutes or so of Hyde United. Don't let Hyde score. 
Let's let's all get let's get that goal back. You know, I always go away and come back to a goal. We just need to suck that goal in. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Hide against AFC Rushton. Let's give him a good whacking. getting on oh yes oh yes we're only six minutes in god what an eventful six minutes this must have been who scored it oh Lepags. of course he did of course he did what a goal <laughs> oh yes Lepags. i'll have to watch it at half time oh great tackle big pete looks pretty even so far I mean, we're only seven minutes in. What does everybody think about attacking? Does attacking seem to be stitching us up, or is it going okay? Ah, oh, Pig Pete did so well. I'm looking forward to the looking forward to the replay. Lapags is down to 77% already. He could be in trouble. It's okay. We've got the guys on the bench. Great header away. That's fine. That's fine. Let's have a little. I'll have a quick watch of the goal. Oh yeah, big oh yeah, big Pete bursts to the byline. Oh, what a great goal. You're right, you're absolutely right. Big Pete, brilliant stuff from uh, Bill Hupley. You're quite right, Bill. What a brilliant run from Big Pete. Just drives to the byline. Renfrom just takes out some chump. Bernardo, what a ball wide for Ajnani. Cut it back. Oh, Ajnani doesn't need to cut it back. Does it all himself. Ignore me. Just ignore me. Ignore me. Pretend I'm not even here. Pretend I'm not even here. Just cut inside and smash that into the bottom corner. That's what I want to see from Asnani. Brilliant build-up play again. What a ball from Bernardo. Look at the vision. Look at the vision. Great touch for Asnani. Thought he'd gone too far. Everybody expected him to cut it back, including their goalkeeper. Bosh. 2-0. Get those goals in. Get those goals in the chat. Let's do it. Goal, goal, goal. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. Ajinani, there he goes. He's just taken on two people. Oh, Big Pete hits it. Oh, it's saved. Oh, it's loose. Oh, it's just out for a corner. Oh, it's out for a goal kick. Oh, what's happened to Ajinani? I think, you know, I realised he had a right foot, so we put him on inside forward. And to be honest, I, I'm giving all the credit to the chat because you guys told me to keep faith with him when I was thinking about dropping him. And he's just been absolutely everywhere. What he's doing now is what I thought he would do from the beginning. But the first two or three games he played, he just looked a little bit out of sorts. But then I was playing him as a winger. We changed him to an inside forward. He had one game where he didn't play very well. I was going to drop him. The chat said, no, keep the faith. And he scored a great goal there. And actually, he's been really good ever since you guys told me to keep the faith with him. You, you're absolutely right. You were right to call me out on my hastiness. And there he is again, Ajnani! Oh, he's done it! Ajnani makes it three. That's a brace for the Dutchman. The flying Dutchman makes it three. Hyder all over the place and we are rampant. Lovely ball through from La Paglia to Caroma. 
Karoma does really well again. But look at the run. Ajnani gets wrong side of their whole defence. Left foot clubs it into the... Well, not into any corners. Just clubs it past the keeper. Lovely. Uh, threat of fines in the chat worked. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the chat works wonders. When we say we're not going to give someone a contract, they score like six goals in two games. When we say we're going to fine them, they start scoring. Oh, Gilps pushes that wide pointlessly. But he loves a save now, Gilps. Gilps is the goalkeeper that we all thought he should be. I think I'm going to take Lepaglia off at half-time. At 68%, we're 3-0 up. Assuming that we're still 3-0 up, or better. Go on, Omar. Go on, Omar. Get down that line. Go on. Oh, I should have just kept going. Oh, that's a, that's suddenly... Oh, he's offside. I was going to say, that was a... How has he got in? He's not in. He's offside. Come on, boys. Oh, what? Big Pete, look at that flick. Did you see that? That was a, What a showboat. Ajnani down the line. Can he find a ball? Oh, it's going to be an own goal, I think. Yeah, own goal off Brundle. That's four. Your mighty diamonds. We're hitting our stride. We're hitting our stride early in the season. This took almost half a season for us to hit this kind of form last year. This time, Ralphie B splashes the cast. Get a bit of wage budget all of a sudden. Look at the quality. Lovely ball in. Keeper just, uh, sorry. Defender just goes, I don't know what I'm doing. What's my job again? Which way are we shooting again? That way, mate. Goal. Lovely. B. Hupler scored 10 in FM before. Probably. Probably. I don't know, actually. I've won by a lot and lost by a lot over the course of many, many years of playing FM. So probably. But I don't remember. Oh, this is... So far... Half an hour. Only half an hour in. And this is a battering. Another brilliant header from Molnar. Astudio holds it up, waits for support. We've got a counter on here if Astudio can find a pass. Oh, he's found a brilliant pass for Ajnani. He's on a hat-trick. Ajnani gets his hat-trick. There he is. There he is. The boy come good. 5-0. 33 minutes on the clock. Not even. 5-0 AFC Rushton. What a brilliant ball from Astudio. What is this guy doing? So deep. Giving his goalkeeper absolutely no chance. This is a rout. This is a rout. What a player. Yeah. I, I, what, I, yeah. Ajnani, I knew he would be, I knew he could be good. It was only that he disappointed me with the way he started. I thought he would start like this. You know, I kind of, because he, his stats look so good, I thought he would come out of the, oh, what are you, what is that all about? Oh, La Pags. Injured again. That is a disgusting tackle. Unbelievable. We've lost La Paglia again. I'm going to give Byron a run. Why not? That is disgraceful. He should be off for that. Nowhere near the ball. Came flying in like a psychopath. Very upset. Bernardo punished them. Oh, nearly. Good save, Jordan. Bernardo just ghosts past people. Just just flashes them a look and, then just gl and they're paralysed. Glides past. Ah, oh, unlucky. Molnar, oh Molnar, flick it at goal. Back in the box though. Oh no, they're gonna. Oh, are they gonna clear it? They're doing. They're making a real meal of getting this away, and we've got it back. Bernardo, square it to square it to the. Oh, square it to the stud. Unlucky. Crack open the Uzo exactly. Ah, uh, stand. Yeah, standing ovation for uh, Lapaglia as he's carried to hospital. Oh, they've missed the header. They are. They are all over the place, Hyde. They, are, they just don't know what to do with the Mighty Diamonds. All over the shop. Oh yeah, Gilps on pens. Good shout. Gilps on pens. Where is he? There he is. Big Pete wins yet another header. Van La. Is that a corner? Oh no, goal kick. Zakid, I don't know what that means. You're you're too young and trendy for me, I'm afraid. Sorry, I don't know what U W U Rip Buddy means. It doesn't mean Lapaglia needs to go to hospital because you're right. Bernardo's made a brilliant challenge and he's got a completely clear run at goal. Oh, just screws it wide. Could have been six nil before half time. Just what do you what do you even say? What do you even say? I mean, you've got to just say, I'm happy. Keep it up. 
everybody's look at you know what everybody's playing with confidence nobody doesn't say look looks complacent there's none of that adam dugan nonsense looks complacent everybody's on it everybody wants more goals they're still going you see look at your mighty diamonds they're absolutely flying what ajnani unbelievable oh what a save what a save from jordan from Karoma. omar really should have a goal there going to have to do a hard save after this game is over because Mona, oh, Mona's always having to head it back but as only gets back oh, I guess it because um, this is an even better performance than the cursed FC United of Manchester game so it's going to be a heavy a hard save after this one is over for sure Renfrew, good Karoma, nice, nice, nice go on Byron, what a ball Byron Barb Ajnani, oh he's, oh, he's going to get there Van Laar, brilliant ball in oh <laughs> Defender just heads it wide for a corner. <laughs> Ooh, love it. Uh, I might make some. I'll make some more subs in a minute. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll make my last two subs in a minute. That white is looking for an own goal, isn't he? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, talk about a hiding. Exactly. Yep. Molnar's just heading it back to Ajnani. I like this tactic. I like I like what we're doing. We're just we're, we're just messing with them now. Oh, Karoma! Oh, just flicks the header over the bar. Uh, this this game from Ajnani, not just because he scored a hat trick, but every time he gets the ball, he's just dribbling past people. It's exactly why I signed him. It's just what I wanted. I mean, I expected him to be a flying winger, but coming inside and doing it is just as good. I'm just as happy with that. Go on, Omar. Can it? Can Omar find a? Oh, what a great tackle! Oh no, no, sorry. What an awful foul. What a dastardly foul. How could you? Free kicks. Who's on him? Oh, Astudio's on it. Astudio. Oh, off the crossbar, Astudio. He's in there again. Oh, the clearance comes right off of his knob. And that should be a free kick, but not given. Okay. Oh, dear. Exciting stuff. Right, okay. Mitchell Van Laar is very tired. Uh, Steve Jags can come on. I know he doesn't really want to play there, but tough. And then Bulk can come on for um, Omar. Yeah, Bulk can come on for Omar. And just sit there. Be a be an anchor man, defend. Big Pete can stay as a ball winner, but support. Maybe we can go. Maybe we just. Oh no, no, we'll just leave it like that. Fuck it. There's no need to change it, is there? We're doing fine. Oh no, 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 no. Inside forward. I've messed it up. There we go. There we go. Boom. Oh, how have we not scored in this half? Good question. Yeah, we really should have done. What I love is that we're still trying to score, though, because, like I say, a lot of the time when your team goes 4 or 5 nil up, they just all get complacent and they all stop playing. Oh, Big Pete! Oh, what a hit! Oh, the stud was offside. Yeah, they get complacent a lot of the time, but we could have doubled our lead. We really could. Ah, oh, this, this is a battering. This is definitely our best performance. Their keeper looks a lot like the ref. They're wearing nearly identical kits. Oh, Paul's done well. Is that Jags? Ah, oh, Steve Jags. There's no way around Steve Jags. No way. Not today, Hyde. Love it. This is the first time I think I've seen them come forward. Big Pete is there. Lovely. Oh, Jags was going to kill that guy. That's got to be a foul. Ref. The ref's taking pity on them, isn't he? He's not giving fouls where they clearly should be. Go oh, no. Molnar's gone down. Molnar's gone down. That's a nightmare. Have we lost Molnar? I mean, Bulk can go back into centre-back. Centre uh, Molnar, Molnar's still going. I can't take him off. I've got no option to take him off. I made all my subs. Bit of a nightmare, but it's okay. We have got good young centre-backs uh, that, ha that are just not featuring because they can't get in the team. Oh, Byron Bubb's taken on a couple of guys. Oh, just saved. It is pretty ridiculous that we haven't extended our lead, I've got to say. Back on the ball again. Ajnani. Oh, looking for Astadio. Unlucky. Yeah, so we've lost Lapaglia to injury. We're probably going to lose Molnar after this one. So the hammer has fallen. Exactly, Xander. That's uh, okay, Renfrew will get that. Nice. Oh, unlucky. Oh, that's lovely. Just flick it off your own player. Nearly put us in. Nearly put us in. 
take him out, Jags. Jags has done well again. Jags loves it. Jags loves it. Yeah, just need to hope that those injuries to Lapaglia and Molnar aren't too bad. But we do have good replacements. I mean, Molnar, technically, according to my coaches, is our fifth best centre-back. So while I'm not saying that it's good that he gets injured, obviously, we definitely play in the hammer whenever he's available. Steve Jags loves it at left-back. Um, we're obviously playing the hammer whenever he's fit. Um, but if we lose him, theoretically, we might even be putting a better centre-back in. It's not really possible, is it? But that's what my coaches would say. Look at that, Ajnani. Ajnani. Oh, I was going to say, he must be near a 10, Ajnani. Near the perfect performance. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. Good defending, though. We have bodies. Here we go. We can counter here. Bernardo, what a ball through. Oh, if only Astudio had a little bit more pace. Just a tiny bit more acceleration in his locker. He'd have been in there. Oh, Big Pete's going to... No. Oh, he's won a foul. Drawn a foul. Very nice. Very nice. This is this performance is just so excellent. We're sort of starting to fall apart a little bit now. People are getting tired. Hyder finally realised that they're supposed to be playing football, not just standing around. So they're starting to do a little bit of that. But, you know, they're attacking down Steve Jaggs' flank and getting nothing out of him. Nothing at all. I was worried about the old wing-back thing leaving us short on, on our left. But Bernardo flicks away. Brilliant. Just really good. Absolutely excellent defending. Just need to skip through to the end of this game now, basically. I'm going to switch to key highlights. Oh, oh off the crossbar. Well, they've hit the bar. They've hit the bar. It's about as close as... That's definitely as close as they've come. Actually, no, Jag... Uh, sorry, Gilps has made a couple of saves, hasn't he? It's okay. They can they can hit the bar. We've been 5-0 up for... What, the whole second half? We've been 5-0 up since about half an hour in, so... You know, the, the, game's, the game's long over. Hit that, Bernardo. Hit that. Oh, he has as well. Oh, the ultras in the stands behind the goal. I imagine that's all of you guys in the stand behind the goal. He's just been singing songs constantly for the last hour and a half. I can't believe the Hyde fans are even still here. Barroso, brilliant. Absolutely excellent. Oh, oh, there was a... Oh, Big Pete. I was going to say, there was a ball on for Ajnani, but he couldn't quite see it. Go on, Ajnani. Look at him. Look at him go. This is what I want from him. Oh, Ajnani. Oh, I nearly scored the follow-up as well. That is, that is what I want. That was what uh, I'm, so, I'm really happy that he is actually doing the thing that I wanted him to do from the beginning. I just thought maybe I'd messed up and signed somebody that wasn't capable of it. Should have trusted myself. Oh, that nearly went in as well. Honestly, how we haven't scored second half is ridiculous. Jags is like Milner. Exactly. Steve Jags is our James Milner. Oh, that went all the way through to Jordan. God, I can't believe nobody got on the end of that. Renfrum, lovely touch. Oh, Molnar's too injured. Shouldn't be giving him the ball. This game's over. Come on, ref. Just blow it. Oh, Ajnani's still going in for tackles. If Ajnani had scored that fourth goal, I think he would have a 10, wouldn't he? He's on a 9.6. Oh, look at this piss-taking interplay. Oh, just... In, and still go... Look at this. Still trying to win it back. Love the commitment of my players. It's a shame they're all so knackered, but... You know... Astudio. Oh, Big Pete. Hit that, Big Pete. Hit that, Big Pete. Ah, oh, he should have hit it. The stud will surely hit it. No, he's giving it back to... Oh, he's giving it to Big Pete. What a save from Jordan. Oh, it's full time. Well, we finished that game with 12 shots on target. We could have... I mean, we really could have won that 12-0. That was a ridiculously good performance. Look at all of these ratings. Absolutely outstanding. Outstanding. Ah. Oh. I want, to, I want to be passionate. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Byron Bub wasn't listening. He doesn't need to. And we've gone top of the league. Bradford Park Avenue must have lost somewhere. They've lost at home to Whitby. And that massive 5-0 win blasts us to the top of the league. Nine games played. Only eight conceded. Most of them through uh, Bobby Jansen. Gilps, to be fair to Gilps, 
He has been class since he came back in goal. Just what an incredible performance. I can hardly get over that. We're just... If you remember where we were three hours or so ago at the beginning of this stream, I spent most of the beginning of the stream with my head in my hands, and we have just battered teams. 11 goals in two games. Outrageous. Classy Ajnani. Touch of class. Superb. Superb. Oh, absolutely tremendous. Yeah, I don't see why not. I'm not talking about transfers. Stop trying to get me to talk about transfers. Oh, lads. Excellent. Cracking start to the season. Max, thank you for being with us. I think we'll probably end the stream there. We're nearly at three hours. So we'll probably finish there. That's, I mean, after the, after the doldrums of where we started, we played five games. Oh, the next game is Chester. Chester, that is a big game, but we've got to wait 11 days until that game. There's going to be so much processing. I think we'll call it a day there. Three hours is a really good stream, or two, two hours 50. Guys, thank you for being with me today. Those of you that subscribed, Mr. Hamtown, Bill Hupler, Twerno, thank you so much for your subscriptions. Thank you for being here, guys. Um, and I'll see, I won't be in tomorrow. Remember, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Need to take a day off. Um, but we'll do... I, I will process to the... Yeah, I'll process to the Chester game. I always do. Um, don't worry about that. Um, I won't be on tomorrow, but I'll do a weekend game. Probably do Saturday. Does anybody, What does everybody think? Saturday or Sunday? Give me a very quick poll in the chat. Saturday or Sunday for the weekend chat. It probably doesn't, it probably doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, then don't worry about it. I was going to do Saturday and take Sunday off. Yeah, either either Penis has sat. I'll probably do Saturday. All right, I'll, let's say we'll take tomorrow off. Yeah, Saturday football fix. All right, we'll take tomorrow off. We'll do Friday, Saturday. So we'll be back on Friday for another one of these. But, ah, oh, what an amazing day. Incredible series of results. Terrible start. Ridiculous finish. Thank you for being here, guys. And I will see you uh, on Friday.